Test one, two, test one, two. Hello, hello, hello.
Hold on. Good evening. Good. Time zone. Wherever you may be. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. And thank you for being you. Uh, my name is Ian Oblivion. <clears throat> I should add, probably add one of those tags for throat clearing. They seem to be doing that quite a bit. That's all right. Um, yeah. Today is Monday, uh, the 18th. I uh, had a pretty good day. had a very good weekend. I had a very good day as well. Um, had a great job interview. Uh, I think they liked me quite a bit. Um, they said they would let me know <clears throat> first thing tomorrow morning. Um, yeah, big... Big fingers crossed on that one. Um, if I get that, it'd be pretty, pretty cool. Pretty awesome. Um, yeah. Um, one, one of my friends, one of the first of my friends, um, as a new father, uh, as of, gosh, I think it's been like a year and a half now. Um, I finally got a chance to hang out with him. <clears throat> over the weekend. That was good. That was really nice. Always good to hang out with uh, the new dad of the friend group. Um, yeah, but I hope everyone else is doing well. And uh, I'm a little bit tired, a little tired. And I know what I've said in the past before about not streaming while tired, but yeah, I, I don't know. I, I kind of separated streaming from like work right it's like most jobs that i've had you know it, do it doesn't matter if you're tired you know especially if you know the job pretty well you're gonna work regardless but streaming is a little different um i'm still unsure if that's just because i'm inexperienced with streaming while tired <laughs> and of course there's a million different variations of or you know spectrum of tiredness Yada, yada, yada. You get the idea. So, without further ado, <clears throat> let's jump right back into this. The Veil of Darkness. Having quite a good time with this uh, last time. That's very fun. Very quirky and very charming. Turn this music off. DOS Games music number one, hi-fi stereo on YouTube. Very good mix. <clears throat> Where we left, last left off, we encountered <clears throat> a very good plethora of things to do, things to solve. I'm trying to remember specifically. Of course, we'll see very soon. We had we had the tree man. Uh, we had the cursed monk in the basement of the the monastery uh, who couldn't stop writing. And we had a variety of items, holy water. I think I tried throwing the holy water at the the cursed monk, or was it the tree? Uh, neither of them did anything. <clears throat> and. I believe our most recent save is Free Needles' Solo Goblet. Shout out to Free Needles, once again. Uh, if you're unaware, also I'm still unsure what actually pauses the game. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure this is a pause state. I don't think we'll be attacked in the village per se, but we'll see. Uh, also, the new emotes went through. Very exciting. <laughs> Again, I'm still not the greatest at these uh, these new fan dangled image manipulation 
programs, but <clears throat> I think they'll do just fine for now. They are, uh, they're quite a treat. This game is quite a treat. Okay, so we're back in the village. <clears throat> oh yeah, we have this little, uh, tome. You have to put it in your hand to read it, yeah. And this tells us, I think this tells us how to make a healing item, basically. Uh, larger pieces of translucent blue chalcedony. Again, not sure how to pronounce that. I apologize. <clears throat> Hidden healing properties. Rare pieces of this crystal are properly cut and the needed enhancements cast. The crystal can be used uh, to greatly increase the human body's healing abilities. I'm guessing maybe this is like to raise HP. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, and it's limited. Uh, we have a holy water. We have some cowberry plants that we can sell, um, but we don't know if they're actually good or not. Hmm. We got a new weapon. Got the mace from uh, the monastery, of course. We have this thing, which I'm sure is utterly useless. Uh, another thing... Hmm. Sack. Oh yeah, that's our money. Uh, the game has never been explicitly clear if there is any type of item storage anywhere. And I've not tried to drop something and come back to it. So, I think what we're going to do now is we're just going to pop back in and say hi to uh, Mr. Possibly Evil Sean Connery guy. I'm just going to drop some items in here and see if we can walk out and come back in and have them safely be here. <clears throat> Uh, we have some darts that were in the bar. Oh, did I just drop everything again? No, I don't think so. Try to just put this on the ground. Can I not drop anymore? E? No? Nothing to hit. Okay. We'll just do that then. Double fist and darts. Okay. I think they're all stacked up right there. Let's talk to Kirill once more. <clears throat> I'm glad you returned again. But other there are other things I'd like to discuss. But first, I must thank you once more for finding the hammer. I know I found the hammer already. And good old Edward is dead, 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 dead. Yeah, we, we've already seen this conversation. Okay, perhaps there's nothing else we can do here. Bye. And the darts are still there. We'll make a new save after this, uh, just in case. For whatever reason, the darts are the key to everything. Perhaps you have to... Oh man, I didn't even think about this. Maybe you can combine the darts of the holy water with some type, make some type of uh, super sweet anti-vampire missile. I'm gonna try that real quick. I'm pretty sure the manual said that to combine things, you simply click over them or kind of smash them together in the inventory. Um, I'm going to take one quick peek at the manual real quick, just a refresher.
Drop an item. Pick it off your character's figure or from his inventory. Move the cursor on the top of your character. On top of your character on the 3D overhead map. And click where he's standing. Okay. <clears throat> Several of the objects in Veil of Darkness act as containers, allowing you to place other objects inside of them. Uh, some examples of containers are pouches or sacks. Place an item in a container, select the object, and place it on top of the container. Okay, so that's like the sack of money that we have. <clears throat> Must be placed in, to see what's inside the container, must be placed in the left hand. Okay. Gotcha. No real mention of... There are many different kinds of objects your character can find to be used place somewhere on the large figure of your character in the lower left hand screen. Necklaces. Some objects need to be used in a certain location or combination together. <clears throat> Put an object in your character's hand. Click on the correct hand usage icon. Put the oil in one hand, an object to light it in the other. And click on the usage icon for the object being used to light the lamp. Okay, so so far, I don't think there's anything to be messed with. At least not that we have yet. Uh, I will take one dart. Dart, okay. And according to our prophecy, it sounds like must free a man cursed for curiosity's sake. That definitely seems like the monk who is trapped writing forever to me. Uh, as far as I recall, <clears throat> we do not have anything that can free this poor man. So, let's make the rounds again. I believe at the end of last stream, I checked in at the bar one more time. I think people were still saying the same stuff. Yeah, they're talking about the the crazy monk, and that's where we got the uh, the destination to go. And to bring someone back to life. Oh yeah, that's right, because we still have the corpse. I wonder if the prophecy mentions anything like that. Dispel one dead, but forced to serve. Youth and madness. Hangman's grief must unveil. Seven lost souls have favors to ask. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, so it's it's got to be the monk. There's the uh, the beautiful goblet over there, which is used to bring someone back from the dead. But I don't think we have to worry about that at all. Is this something that I can take, perhaps? No. We'll keep making our rounds. And again, I have... That doesn't do it. Uh, I have... A tattered piece of cloth. A torn fabric. And I still have two silver coins. And a pry bar. Can't recall off the top of my head if there's any other locked doors or things that needed... Friaring. There was nothing in this little shack here. Intake.
I wonder what could free that monk. Ooh, blacking, how's it going? Oh, is that the little um modify emo thing? Yeah. Yeah, that works. Yeah, his mouth is just uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> Thank you very much. Great to see you. Thanks for stopping in. How you doing? How was your weekend? Uh let's see. Going back to the scene of the crime here. That looks good. Yeah, the, the Pog one with the sunglasses looks pretty good. Yeah. Very good, thank you. <clears throat> so I'm just kind of putzing around town again. Refreshing what we could and couldn't do. Going back to the scene of the crime here. Make sure I didn't miss anything. But according to the prophecy, I'm pretty darn sure that the, uh, the monk who is trapped writing forever uh, needs to be the... The next thing that we do. Nothing back here. I can't really even tell what those are. I think some... Eventually we need to burn that body. But I'm, I have a feeling that will... That will come later. Uh, what was in this door? That's locked. And I think I did try to use the pry bar in this. Try it once more. Oops. Nothing to pry here. <clears throat> Hope the uh, the weather in Florida isn't too isn't too clammy for you. Hope the crazies aren't too crazy. Talk to the shopkeeper again. Uh, bye. Well, how about a light? I mean, you sold me a lamp, but you don't have anything to light it with? What about oil? No? Okay. Can't get anything else on the counter here. And this... Herb Lady. Bye bye Okay, let's go back... to the map. Got the monastery. Nothing else. Got the barn, the farmhouse. All I think all we got from the barn was the pitchfork. If I'm not mistaken. Good barn farty music. Gotta love that. Perhaps a needle in the haystack. Tried messing with the chickens and the pigs. Nothing there. I just go outside. Oh, okay, it just takes back to the map. Uh, let's talk to the farmers again. <clears throat> Maybe they they know something about the priests. Nope, oh, this is all the same. Crash. This is where you find out where your plane crashed. Sneeze wart. See you later. And Silva? Food? Yep, and this is where you get grossed out from learning she's cooking rats. Funny enough, <clears throat> I did make beef stew myself <laughs> yesterday. Uh, turned out great. Turned out very good. And it wasn't because of this. It was funny because I had already been planning uh, to make a beef stew, but then this just kind of reinforced my my intent. Nice little coincidence there. What about your stove? You got anything in your stove that I can take? Oh yeah, and this is a little storage area. Also empty, suspiciously empty. In cabinets. All right, let's head back to. Whoops, not the prophecy. Let's head back to the monastery. <clears throat> Can't recall. I, I'm pretty sure I asked to see if we could enchant anything after we kind of ransacked his place. Oh yeah, you absolutely should make scratch gravy again. Boot blacking. What would you serve it with? I mean. 
For me, biscuits would be the go-to for sure, but the gra gravy is the universal solvent. It is, yeah, it it's beautiful. Beautiful substance. <clears throat> Fries and cheese, there you go. Are you sure you're not Canadian? <laughs> Isn't that what poutine is, basically? I went to Toronto once when I was very young, and I remember getting poutine from McDonald's there. I remember liking it quite a bit. Uh, brothers. Where he tells you about the madness. Invisible friends. Okay, your services. Uh, impart a blessing on items and resurrect the dead. We already have holy water. <clears throat> Do you have anything that you that I can bless? Uh, you don't have anything which my blessings will affect. Okay. I am kind of wondering, though, if he just, like, does a scan of your inventory, or, or if you have to be holding something for him to, to bless. I'm just going to try that real quick. <clears throat> Allow his music to start up again. Gravy cheese fries. Known as the bomb worldwide. Poutine specifically is made with cheese curds. Oh, I did not know that. Anything else? Just sparkling potatoes. I like that. Very good. Gristling, glistening grits. Yeah, that sounds fantastic. Uh, can you bless anything now? Blessing. Nope. We need the goblet. The cup of life for resurrection. <clears throat> Ashes in the golden vessel. Old champagne joke. Champagne joke. Is that a term or is that a... Oh, sparkling potatoes is old champagne, right. Very good. I never... I think the only time I've ever actually drank champagne was... Like at a... Like free cheap stuff at a bar that we happen to be on New Year's. Very burpy, very burpy. It's only Champagne, if it's the Champagne, from the Champagne region of France, yes. Makes me think of, um, what's his face? Christopher Walken's The Continental. <laughs> you like this painting? I got it from Target. <laughs> He's so good. He's in... He's in, like, a popular new movie, I want to say. It was, like... It was, like, a big reveal that he's also in it. Maybe it was a video game. I can't remember. I haven't caught up... Kept up with movies in a very long time. Uh, I think if we go down here, it's locked. In the previous hallway, it's all bedrooms, along with our... Our possessed hand friend. Is there anything in here? Oh, that's this is the hallway. Yep, and our boy's in here. Talk to him again. Hello again, stranger. For a moment, I thought you were the nameless one. <clears throat> Who is the nameless one? Never told me his name. I've asked him enough times, but he simply ignores me. I don't see him very often. I find it hard to leave this desk when my hand won't stop writing. Asked? Who are you? If you don't mind me asking, my name's Ian. Me? I'm called Pius. Maybe we should ask the nameless one about Pius. This is the name uh, the monk gave me. I don't remember my real name, don't recall much about my past. Oh? Anything at all? No, not really. Last thing I remember was waking up here one stormy night. I was covered from head to toe in my own blood. I was bleeding from dozens of deep scratches and claw marks. Uh, I must have been attacked by wolves. Uh, there sure are enough of them around here. I owe the nameless one, nameless one my life. If it weren't for him, I'd probably be dead. What you read? What do you mean? You... <laughs> what do you mean you won't? Your hand won't stop writing. Ah, uh, sorry about that. With all this writing makes me tired. 
It doesn't matter though. I keep on writing whether I'm asleep or awake. It's this forsaken quill. It's cursed. The monk warned me, but I just wouldn't listen. It's probably not the first time my curiosity has gotten me into trouble. Forsaken. Trying to tell me that this quill is cursed? Look at me. Uh, do you think I enjoy this? I'm telling you. Oh shit, I right clicked by mistake. That exits conversation. Yes, yes. Writing. Uh, forsaken. There are many cursed things in this valley. The monk said it's Karn's evil taint. Uh, he also told me that the Quill once belonged to the Dark Lord's brother, Michael. That's right. Now, do we know a Michael? That's what I can't remember. First. Uh, is there a way to... Is there, isn't there a way to get rid of the Quill? Maybe I can help you. Actually, there is a way, but that's also part of the curse. That's right, you can't tell... You can't ask for help. Every time I try to... Try to... Ah... Uh, Ah. Uh, ask. Is that what you're trying to say? Do you, have, do you have to find a way to ask for help? Like I said, the curse will not let me say something that might help break its grasp. But perhaps we can give him something? Okay, my name's Ian. You're covered in blood. Bye-bye. Try the holy water again. Just for... poops and laughs. I can't really logically see why any of this other stuff would work. I guess we could try... a cowberry plant. Maybe you can write with... write with the juice. Perhaps. I can't use the items. All I can do is throw them. His name is Pius. P I U S. <clears throat> P I U S. Okay. All right, let's go back. The nameless one. Ultima, Ultima Ombre Monk. Ultima Monke. Monke. I doubt there's a Spanish word for monk. Perhaps there is. I shouldn't be so ignorant. There were nothing in these beds. And so far, no chest we've encountered is something that we can mess around with. Okay. Go back up here. Dunk, 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 dunk. Got me thinking about fries and gravy and cheese now. All right, Mr. Nameless One. What do you think about this? Nothing. Damn. Nameless One. Oh. That's weird. Sometimes it will just do nothing, and sometimes it will do the little zoom in, zoom out thing. Interesting. Uh, quill? No. Writing? Monk? No. Hmm. Starting to feel a little stuck here. Maybe I can just chuck the holy water at, uh, at our friend downstairs. The only other place we hit have not revisited yet is the candle maker's house and the plane crash site. Which hand was the holy water in? Is this my left hand? It should be, right? I use the numpad to position myself. And huh! <laughs> just kind of bonked off of him. Hmm. Maybe 
Maybe you can use a candle to write in dripping wax. Go check out the crash site one more time. I'm also curious if enemies respawn. I don't think they did last time. Nope, they're still here dead. Can't loot their corpses or anything. I also just kind of randomly happened to pick up some uh, some of those cowberry plants that were out here. Let me try. Can I combine the cowberries? No. Can't combine it with a fennel branch. Maybe you can write with a branch. Don't know. Don't know. I don't know the depths to which this game will stoop in terms of being able to interact with items or combine them. Okay. <clears throat> this guy's all the same. I got his body. Dragged him away. Yeah, let's move on. Uh, map. Go back to town. Also, I just realized the game is quite low. You're not really missing anything, though. Not missing any of the... The good jams yet. Uh, this way. Go talk to Dungeon Candle Man, Candle Grandpa. How you doing? Are they ready yet? Candles ready for sale yet? Sorry, not yet. Check back later. Do you know about the quill? How about the curse? No. I am the outlander. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Wait, did he? Well, those? Yeah, I don't know. Plenty of fire around. I don't think you can just reach out and use the lamp in there. But we still have no real use for the lamp yet. Let's say hi to his kid again. An empty room. How you doing? Show me the plane. Yeah, that's all the same. Okay. Go back to the monk. Back to the monastery. I feel like I feel like I'm missing a word that I'm supposed to talk to somebody about. I'm gonna pay more attention to the words that this guy down here is saying. I'm actually gonna write them down. The only other person besides the Psycho Monk that we know that can do some type of healing stuff is uh, the the herb, the herbalist. But we did find this book in the monastery as well. Maybe this book is just straight up the, the clue to healing the monk. We don't have anything blue outside of the darts. Hmm. Alright, sir. No, I can't... I can't use the branches. There's no icon for being able to use them. What about the fabric? Nope. Oh, I just placed the fabric in the satchel. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. Got the corns. Can I equip the coin and use it? No. Hmm. Can I equip the propaganda? The brochure? 
the pry bar. Can we just pry the quill out of his hand, perhaps? I'm gonna laugh if that actually works. Oops, I didn't mean to talk to you, buddy. Nothing to pry here. Okay. Can I take any of these books? Can I take your spider web? Can't look at anything here. Alright. <clears throat> we have one. And we have asked and writing. Which I think are pretty much just exclusive to him, but I'll write them down regardless. Asked, my name's Ian, recall. Shoot, I'm. Ah, I right clicked again. The manual does mention stuff about the, uh, the hidden words. I'm just going to review that for myself one more time. That text, the creatures, fire notes. In keywords, in addition to the keywords included in NPC's conversational text, select NPCs have hidden keywords. These hidden keywords never come up in regular conversation with an NPC. You learn of hidden keywords by interacting with some other NPC. Tells you to ask the servant for coins. Okay. Alright. Hmm. Side there. One. Asked writing. Recall. Writing. Forsaken curse. Ah, <laughs> maybe that's a secret phrase. Ah, cursed. Did I write down cursed? Yeah, I did. Bye bye. Dum 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 dum. All right, buddy. You need to help out your your homie downstairs. We gotta get this prophecy show on the road here. Services and brothers. Okay. I'm just gonna try all of them. Asked. Writing. Recall. Four. Saken. First. How about just curse? Ah, nope. Son of a B. Tell me about your brothers again. You see them? Brother Leon? Nope. And we tried Pius. That's his name. That's a weird looking eye, but yeah. Well, tell me about your services again. Holy water, blessing, resurrect. Okay. Yep. All right. Hmm. 
There is one other person that we haven't talked to since the start of the game, really. Um, also, I haven't really tried... I didn't try going north, south, east, or west at the crash site. I'm going to take one more quick peek at the crash site here. <clears throat> I didn't really try to go into it. Nothing to take. No, I can't leave out the side. Can I do anything with these spooky branches? No. Mm. Can't go south. Can't go east. Yeah, the tree guy must be the one dead but forced to serve. Can't go down here. And you can't go north here. Okay. Back to the village. Suppose I haven't really talked to um, the big grunt guy either. Perhaps he might have something more to say. Hello there. Mr. Kristoverich. Kristoverich is in the study. Ah. <laughs> Curse. Coins. Do you have any more money? No more money. Bye bye. Alright. Lovely piano. Lovely home. Very lovely home. Lovely study. All. I think these were all empty and or, yeah, nothing important. Well, let's hop back upstairs. Oh, did, have I gone in the basement? I don't remember if I've gone in the basement. Might be worth checking out. Okay, here is What's-Her-Face. I can't remember her name. I apologize. Hmm. Did everything go well with Father? Well. Did it go well? I'm not so sure. This is all like a dream. From what your father told me, I guess I'm stuck here. <clears throat> we all are, Ian. This place is a nightmare for all of us. I'm lucky to have a man like my father. He has enough power and money to protect us from a lot of dangers. A lot of the dangers. Well, if I can help it, this nightmare is going to end soon. Here, I would like you to have this. Oh, shit, okay. Father would read stories to me when I was young, and the princess always gave the champion knight her scarf as a token of good luck. Oh, isn't that sweet? Thank you, Deidre. Oh, there's a nice, uh... Nice expression-filled line face there. It looks like they just... They just removed his lips. Like, adjusted the, the eyeball a little bit there. Very, very deep expression in that face there. Thank you, dear Deidre. You know, when this is all over, and we're all, oh no, when we're all far away from here, maybe you and I can, uh, you know, uh, see more of each other? I would really like that, Ian. This, this has to be a dream. This would never happen anywhere outside of our characters. Uh, dreams here. Lucky. And I think your father is lucky to have such a lovely daughter. Uh, freaking guy, man. You flatter me, Ian. Actually, I think it is Father and I who are lucky, because you'll free us. I just know you will. Well, not when I'm freaking softlocked. And when we are finally gone... <laughs> yeah. And when we are finally gone from this terrible place, maybe Father will let us break open a bottle of that wine he celebrates so much. And we can celebrate. How about we get that wine right now, Deidre? Father has the finest wine collection in the valley. There's a wine cellar in the basement, but he always keeps it under lock and key. Well, how about the key? How about the lock? Okay. That's fine. 
thing for the scarf. This must be our stat boost thing. It is a ribbon. I can hold it and make a knot, apparently. Can't tie the ribbon to the pot. Ah, interesting. So it is not a scarf. It is a ribbon. We're meant to tie it to something. Interesting. Can I tie it to the torn fabric? No. Perhaps it's a wick? No. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I guess we have to try it with the monk now, right? I don't... Oh, for a candle, of course. Well, he didn't say that he needed any candle supplies. Well, regardless, that's something. That's something that we didn't have before. Let us continue. Thank you, DJ. And let's check out the uh, let's check out the cellar. See if we can't crack open a fine vintage. See what our sack is at. No, we're not even halfway there. I don't know if this becomes like a scrollable inventory or not. Hmm. Okay. Move on. That freaking smile gets me every time. Silver coins. They sure are. One slot remaining. Perhaps this is what the pry bar is for. Is for. Door is locked. Or maybe we just have to shake down Mr. Kirill. The key. Nothing to pry here. Nothing to pry here. All right. Yeah, I still, I still kind of feel like we're getting ahead of ourselves. And I'm pretty dang sure that we cased the rest of this joint. If we can get a new thing here. Wine? You know where I might find some wine. If you want a glass of wine, go to the se severed head. No, I want the good stuff. study, or no, this is the hallway. Yeah, yeah, we've swept all these rooms. Let's see what we can do with this ribbon. See who wants a lovely ribbon. asking about a ribbon. Not no. Go right back to the monk. Maybe we can bless the ribbon. Thank you everyone for joining, by the way. Hope you're having a great Monday. 
Okay, buddy. Nothing on your wacky silver disc on the floor here. Load up your monk music. Uh, services. Blessing. We do not have any items to bless. Alright. End the monk music. Run back downstairs. <clears throat> any and all suggestions at this point are uh, happily taken. If anyone has an idea. Preferably not a direct, you know, next action from a walkthrough, but if anyone has any type of guesses, I'm all ears. <clears throat> the Nameless One. Want this ribbon? Okay, so... <clears throat> the ribbon is only for ice cream sandwiches sound like a good idea. Absolutely. Every time. Yeah. Are you a are you a Klondike? Yeah, in the game, yeah. <laughs> are you a Klondike kind of guy? Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's kind of a stumper, right? Um Okay, so the only action you can do with the ribbon is to combine it with something. Can't tie the ribbon to your hand. I guess we'll just do a little brute force in. Can't tie it to the dart. Can't tie it to that. Uh, can't tie it to the plant. Mace kind of has like a red thing on it. Nope. Classic vanilla between two soft chocolate cookies. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you. You can't go wrong with that. You really can't. We tried the lamp already, yeah. Hmm. Hey, Brave Mustache, how you doing? Nice to see you. <clears throat> Happy Monday. TGIM. Fat boys occasionally go BOGO at my local supermarket, so I've become quite fond of them. Fat boys. Are those are those the sandwiches? Are they are the are they like pole boys? Oh you know you're fine, boot blacking. Oh, thank you. To be honest, I don't really know really much what's going on in the game either. Well, I mean it's 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 really simple. You know, we're a stranger in a strange land and we have to save them all. From Dracula. From evil Dracula. Oh, it's a brand of ice cream sandwich, I see. Gotcha. Um... Quill? A quill. Will you give it to me? <laughs> it was that easy. It was that freaking easy. You just have to type quill. Oh, dear. Okay. All right. Oh, that reminds me. <clears throat> I did not update the stream title. And I never... I don't think... Th there's maybe been one or two times when I've successfully remembered to update the stream title. Um, all I have to do is add day two, but I'm also going to add a couple of new hot tags, I think. Uh, hashtag overthinking throw that one on there all right oh wait it's, it, it went to retro thought I had it on veil of darkness category yeah whatever we'll just keep it at retro why not okay Mm. Yes, at last I'm free, freed from that quill's curse. How how did you no, never mind. I don't really care. Take the thing. Though for the life of me, I don't know why you would want it. I don't either, honestly. Okay. Wait, did he just die? 
they just plop over dead? My inventory is full. There's something to take there. You know this game through Ross's Game Dungeon. But I know the gist of the game. Oh, right on. Man, I forgot. I forgot about Ross's Game Dungeon. That's a classic YouTube channel right there. Okay, so... Even though we, we're not over-encumbered, got too many slots here. What to drop? What to drop? Well, so far... We know that, for so far, this is the only place that we can use silver coins. So I'm just gonna run up here. He's still at it. We don't deserve someone so pure. Yeah, how long has he been around? I wanna say at least a decade, right? But that's great, yeah. Thanks for reminding me, I'll have to check him out again. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and drop these bad boys. Can I just hover and then D? No. Oh, thank you very much, Rave Mustache. I have the the Veil of Darkness to thank for that. Now, where the heck did my ribbon go? Oh, it's on the floor now. So do I have to be holding them in order to drop them? Ugh. Chuck him at the wall there. Okay, take the ribbon back. So, buddy. Hell yeah, they are. Yeah, they look great with the sunglasses. Um. Thank you for the F note. Boot blocking. Very much. I'm gonna chuck these other two coins here. Uh, I'm gonna pop back downstairs because it seemed like there was something we could grab. Very beautiful song there. Very beautiful. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm still undecided what to do with the notes. I definitely need to make them louder and perhaps longer. But I thought, <clears throat> if I ever do a music stream where I play music, it would be fun to do something where uh, chat could try to sloppily play along, or I could try to sloppily play along with chat. And might make another redeem, an additional redeem that's a little higher to, to change what instrument that it plays. That might require a little know-how beyond my pay grade, but that's part of the fun. It's figuring all this stuff out. Nothing to take. So, okay. So we, we removed stuff from our inventory just for it to tell us that there's nothing to take. Okay, fair enough. That would be neat, worth a try. Yeah, I think so too. I think so too. Okay, Padre. We got some crazy shit now. Got a ribbon. A gold. A golden quill. Well, let's take a look at the prophecy. Hopefully this thing will burn up a little bit. Hmm. Is that not it? Interesting. It said in the manual, and we've witnessed it before, when we complete a task, it has a cool little, like, gun smoke, like, burn out of the, uh, of the text. Perhaps he is not truly freed yet. Uh, how about the services? How about this sweet ribbon and quill? Or maybe we have to resurrect him now? Uh, bless him. We don't have any items to bless. Once again, we are stuck. Well, anything about this quill? No? The ribbon? So I have the holy water. Ooh? 
We need the cup of life. We need the wine to get the cup of life. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, let's head back into town and show off our fancy new items to everybody. I wonder what happens if we equip the quill. Will we just start writing some BS? I can't use it. Can't use it with anything. And I don't think I tried tying the ribbon to it. Very good. Can't tie the ribbon to the red quill. Can't tie the ribbon to the gold quill, rather. That's a lovely little tune there, Brave Mustache. I like that. You can kind of throw anything out there in, in the monastery. The monastery music. Uh, let's head back to the village. <clears throat> Did anybody want a quill? Well, we know the quill is cursed. Maybe if we give someone the quill, it will be a distraction for them. Maybe we can give it to Kirill. And then go uh, grab his wine for the key. Chat Oblivion collab. There you go. Yeah. And I haven't talked to the minstrel, the bard, uh, yet this playthrough, or this stream. Perhaps he has something new to say, because he was singing about, I think he was singing about a cursed guy, or at least the person that he got his sweet violin from. Here. I have a dart there. How about this sweet, sweet will? No. Uh, ribbon. De -dre -de -dre. No, I can't remember. Daughter? back to the bar. Oops. Deirdre. You're correct, yeah. Yeah, let's try it. Thank you, Boot Blacking. Deirdre. Back to the severed head. Oop. Yeah, I'm hmm. I'm really curious as to why. Maybe these only burn off in like chunks, like the first. Maybe it goes in fours. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. No. Dispel one dead but forced to serve. Sounds like we gotta find the tree man's body. But that doesn't sound like it will happen until later. Alright, what's up, bard? Play me a song. No offense, but I doubt you're familiar with the finer aspects of the Hall of Notes catalog. Minstrel instrument. I was never a big fan of the violin. No simple violin. The finest in the whole world. Long ago. Belonged to another fine musician by the name of Christian. Remember that, if it's important. Maybe we can ask him about him. Oops. There's the end. No. Doesn't know Rich Girl. I know, right? Doesn't know any of the classics. You play all the time here, sir. Please, my name is Joshua. 
Seth, kind enough to give me room and board. And I remember learning that and searching the rooms. I don't think we found anything. And ask him about Seth. What about this ribbon? Or this quill? No? Okay. Do the bars have anything? Bar hags didn't have anything new to say. Mad never leaves the monastery. Okay. And you can't talk to these people. You can't ask them anything. Okay. Talk to the barkeep again. How about some wine? Do you have any wine? Uh, I have, I have a little. I'm afraid it's not very good. So if you're looking for a good vintage, okay, yeah, that's how you learn that he has the good stuff. Uh, how about a key? Lock. Minsterel. Minstrel. No. Uh, Robin. Hmm. No, he's got the goblet. Yep. <clears throat> we need the wine for the goblets. And we got the lady. Still don't want to drink. Sophia. I always... <laughs> terrible. I always forget her name. Uh, Sophia. Ribbon. Wine. Light. Can I have a light? Maybe now that we have the ribbon we can get a light? I don't know. Grasping at ribbons here. Nice. Can I have a light? Light. Oh yeah, he asked you for a pipe. You should really get yourself a pipe. I would if I were you. Thank you, game. I'll go back to the candle maker. That's the only other thing that I can think of to use a ribbon for at this point. Dunk some wax. Dunk, 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 dunk. Dunk, dunk. Hello. Hello, Outlander. Ribbon. Got any of those sweet candles? Nope. I'll try later. I wonder if we can use the ribbon in this thing. There's no use or interact button. There's only take. Unless it's highlighted or it shows up as on the cursor. The only thing that we've ever been able to interact with in the environment up to this point has been that hidden bookshelf. Sorry. Nudge that a little there. I'm going to go ahead and drop this little propaganda here. Throw it in the ground. Throw it across the room. Got a cool book. Got a piece of fabric. A quill does not give you any action that appears when you equip it. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, let's check the prophecy again. Free a man cursed for curiosity's sake. It looks like he just healed over dead. We didn't react to it or anything, so maybe he just passed out sleeping? Dispel one dead but forced to serve. Youth and madness, he shall willingly heal. Hmm. You're a rich girl. Don't do fun. Any cool stuff? Look at this sweet gamer chair. Nope. Hmm. Dunk, 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 dunk. 
I don't want to talk to this kid again. <laughs> uh, let's try giving him the quill. Why not? Nobody... And then, yeah, and then we have the little girl. Where was the madness girl? She was above... Above the shop. Please. I'm gonna go talk to her again. Hello, Junior. Can't show you the plane, sorry. Want this cool quill? Badness. Uh, Natasha was his friend's name. No. What was it, Natalie? Yeah, it was Natalie. You have a good friend that's very Natalia. Uh, I'm not stupid. Oh, right. Just glad that Natalia agreed to swap locks of hair before she went mad. They still have something to remember her by if she dies. I'm glad you'll have something to remember her by. Me too. That's it? Uh, maybe your dad doesn't want you to see her because he's afraid you'll get the madness. Can't catch madness. It's not like cold. Uh, it's the Pale Prince's evil soul reaching out, touching the children. People in the valley. Bye. Hmm. Want this cool ribbon? Or this cool quill? How about some holy water? What do you think about candles? Nope, nope, nope. Hmm. Mace is just a weapon. I haven't tried hitting any NPCs, but I don't really want to. And I know we've only made just like a tiny ounce of progress, but I feel like it's getting close. I mean, we're starting to scatter our items around. I don't know. I would just feel more safe if we saved. Uh, and this will be boot mustache. Thank you once again, gentlemen, for, uh, for hanging out. Appreciate it. All right. I promise we will, we will find some type of progress. If it takes me cheating, which I will, not not ashamed to do it anymore. I mean, I'm not gonna go right to it. Obviously, I'm just kind of learning my gauge for. My own tolerance for, for BS. Or my own tolerance with my own uh, lack of patience, I suppose. Nothing more to take in here. You can't... I, I keep... The problem is I keep approaching this like your standard point and click or a standard adventure game, right? I, I, I keep thinking in, in terms of solutions in terms of like action words when you really can't do anything uh, unless the inventory says that you can do something. All right, let's talk to this lady again. We can sell her the herbs that we've picked, but we don't really have a reason to yet. We still have money. It's not like you can show a character an item Unless you know the word for it, and and that word has to be like the right word to say to them. Dook, 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 dook. Okay, Natalia, how's that madness treating you? Got the madness music queued up here. You didn't have anything else in your room. Right? Hello. What was... Did we talk to her about the boy? The boy's name was like Anton, right? Let's say. Going mad. Lost your father.
Please leave me alone. Uh, how about Brent? Anton? Aton? Shoot. Pretty freaking sure it's Anton. Well. Quill? Pure? Monk? Help. Find help, I promise. I don't know who you are. Thank you for your concern. Please leave. I want to be alone with my little girl. Natalia. Natalia. Is that the good little girl's name? If she's sick, maybe I can help. Help her. No one can help her. Can't you see she's dying? Natalia's going mad. Uh, okay. Oh, congratulations. Congratulations on uh, beating Death's Door. That's a fantastic game right there. Fantastic video game. Congratulations. Which um, which weapon did you feel most comfortable with? I can't remember them all off the top of my head, but I feel like I went for more of a, a speed, a speed kind of person. Crow, that is. That great face again. That's another great face. Can't talk to her. You can't do anything. Hey, Draconic Dude, great to see ya. How's it going? Beautiful emotes you have there. Thank you very much. Happy, uh, happy Monday. Hope you're doing well. Okay. Is there anything else in this room? Looks like there might be something. Oh no. I thought that was something on the mirror, but that's just like the, uh, the trim of the mirror. Just want to lurk for the uh, for the most today as we're getting noms ready. Absolutely, yeah. Thank you for showing up and enjoy the lurk. Thank you very much. When I got the lightning hammer thing, it was so satisfying when combined with the PS5's PS5's vibration tech. Ah, yeah. What is that called? Haptic feedback? Don't they call it like 3D vibration or something like that? I've I've never even held a, a PlayStation 5 controller. As a matter, now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever actually seen a PS5 like in the in the flesh, in the techno flesh. I, I'm still not convinced that they're real or that you have one. Great mustache. Hmm. It is haptic feedback, yeah. Okay. Uh, does this guy have matches, perhaps? Matches. No, I don't have any. Sorry. What is haptic feedback? Easy way of communicating different feelings and sensations to the user through varying levels of rumbles and vibrations, with the aim of creating a more immersive experience. You work for Sony, Draconic Dude? Did you uh, copy and paste that from... direct from John Sony's mouth? But thank you. Thank you for the, uh, the explanation. Uh, so sorry about that, but matches aren't easy to come by. Okay, so you can't ask him for different products. Nope, not a lighter. Chronic sausage. Just another gimmick feature. Uh, yeah, I don't know. People... I know it's, it's also a thing, I think, in uh, the Switch. And I've heard people rave about the Switch's rum rumbliness. But I, I've not played a Switch either, so... Would not know. Not noticeable in all games, but... Uh, that one they designed it well for. Sure, yeah, yeah. Um, I already have the lamp, but... What about oil? No? Flint? No? They aren't bad, but it's more of a look at... It's more of a look at this thing.
Yeah, let's boogie out of here. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe now we have to dump holy water on the the monk. I just don't know. Did I try it with the dart? No. Try to the pry bar. Try to the mace. Try the knife. Make me sense. Hmm. Let's check the upstairs of the severed head once more. Perhaps there's a new visitor. Maybe there is something on the ground. I feel like I searched around here pretty well. Nothing there. Dook, 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 dook. Some nice skulls in the, uh, the corner cabinet there. Nothing in here. We'll go uh, clockwise. Nothing in here. Still looks like a like a bat, a bat picture for a town that's just being terrorized by demonic forces and vampires and the like. You would think they wouldn't want a reminder of that hanging as a piece of art their hallway. Well, this one has a lovely desk, and this one has a lovely skull uh, there. This is the goth suite. Can I push this aside, perhaps? No, I can't get back there. Candle up there, nothing. Interesting. Nothing in any of these rooms that we know of. Hmm. What is that next to? What does that say on the bar? It looks like just a red mug. Spell one dead, but forced to serve. Go talk to the tree man once more. Crash sight. <clears throat> I do love that you can just kind of shove the corpses around. All right, tree man. I have to find a way. Oh, please, the spiders are crawling all over me. I can feel them crawling. I want out of this tree. Ah! How did this happen? I came to see the thing that fell from the sky. It's hiding among the trees. Iron's dead ones came and took took away the bird of iron. I was terrified the dead ones craved the flesh of the living. They heard me somehow. I must have stepped on a twig. It came for me, I wanted to run, but I was paralyzed. That's when he appeared. He did this to me. Excuse me, and dragged away the iron bird. Right. My plane! They dragged away my plane! In which direction did they take it? I don't see any tracks. Oh no you don't. You help me first. Then I'll tell you where they took this thing you call a plane. I want my body back. Body. Help. How'd this happen to you? Okay, this is the same thing. Dragged. There has to be another word here that we're not using yet. Um.
Dead ones. Body. Curse? No. Hmm. Help. Got a ribbon. What about the monk? Find his body. Is he just trapped inside of the tree? Do we just have to, like, knock him out of there? But I tried throwing the holy water at him. Bonk. I don't know all the steps, but I do know the solution for tree man involves breaking eggs to make an omelet. <laughs> Excellent. If you want to free a tree man, you have to crack a few eggs. Hmm. Want out of this tree. Let me pry him. Nothing to pry here. I have to get closer. Nothing to pry him. A prisoner of nature, as we all are. Let's try our shiny new mace. Beautiful mace. Nothing to hit. Game doesn't really allow you to get too close to him. Nothing to hit. How about the pitchfork? Again, the way he uses his pitchfork is hilarious. No, I don't want to talk to him again. He just kind of pushes it out in front of him vertically. Very effective. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Okay. I don't think that there was any type of action. No, there's no action involved with using the lamp. You can throw it, but I don't think that's going to do jack or squat. <clears throat> Got the torn fabric. Can't give him any of those. Help. Free? Break? Amalek? No? It's... Pull. Drag. Oh no you don't. I want my body first. Can't tie the ribbon. Omelet de fromage. Hmm. us back to the barn. Maybe the farmers can help us with tree man. Let's sweep the monastery once more. Do another sweep of the rooms. After that, I'll probably take a quick break. And I probably will take a peek at the manual. Because I feel like this game isn't difficult. I feel like this is probably just another classic example of Smooth Brain, New Streamer, New Strammer, New Streamer Ian uh, missing something very obvious. Either very obvious or, I don't know, illogical. 
Who knows? We'll see. And in here. That's nothing. That's just a chair that's knocked over. Okay, here's our boy. Nothing to take. Nothing to take. Can't tie the ribbon to anything. Golden quill. Oh. There is the herb lady. The herb shop lady. I try to sell her the quill or the ribbon. I don't really know why. How that would help us, but. Um, can't tie that. Hmm. I feel like we did talk to the monk. After we did all this, I don't think he had anything new to say. Let's just try equipping the quill and the ribbon. See if he can enchant or bless any of these things. <clears throat> Cue the monk music. Services. Blessing. Nope. I have nothing. How about some more holy water? Uh, no. I do not want to donate. Okay. Yeah, I'm... I have no idea. I really don't. And I'm tired and fried and wired. Uh, we'll make a quick save, even though we've made no progress. Once again, under boot mustache. And... I don't know how to properly pause this game. You can pause it, but the, uh, the music still goes. So, I'm just going to shut the game down, and then we'll go back into it after these messages. Um, once again, thank you so much, all y'all, for stopping by and hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. Uh, my name is Ian, once again. And uh, please enjoy this brief intermission. Uh, you're welcome to join along with the Richard Simmons and the Silver Foxes uh, mild light exercise video. Uh, please enjoy, and I will see you soon. Yes, that's right. That is Babajiz. Babajiz. Uh, yes, please enjoy this video, and I will return very shortly between 5 and 7 to 8 minutes. Uh, thank you once again so very much. I will see you soon. Again, real nice. Five, six, seven. Again, one, two, three, four. Good, good. One, two, three, four. Now we're gonna add some clapping. Get ready. One, two, three, four, five. Now here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Let's do that again. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now touch it. Good. Touch. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now low ones. Now bring them up. Again. One, two. Let's do a few more. And side. Let's move again. Keep it going, that heart's working. 
again. And one more time. Now we're going to add some arms. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, again. And side, move those arms, keep that heart going. And side again. One more time. Back to our transition. Come on, three, four, good, five. You're doing it. You're going to work that heart. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now some toe rolls and one. Three, four, good, five, feel it, feel great. Seven, eight, again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now lift those knees and one, two, three, four, good, five, lift, lift, and again, up, two, three, that's terrific. Five, six, seven, now slap the knees. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and again. One, two, three, four, five. Work the heart. Come on. Now we're going to lift the arms. One, opposite. Come on. Here we go. Up, up, up. A few more. One, two, three, four. Good. Five, six, seven. Both arms up. One, two, three, four. Breathe. Seven, eight more. One, two, good. Higher. Here we go. Five, six, seven. Now shake it out. Come on. Shake it out. Good. Four. And again. A few more. One, two, three, four. Breathe. Five. Nice and tall. Slap that knee again. One, two, three, four, five. Keep that heart going. You're doing something wonderful just for you. Three, four, five, six. Back to the feet rolls and six. Come on, good. Oh, good. Five, six, seven, and some shoulders. Now, good. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Back to transitions. Two, three, good. Four, swing those hips. Six. Seven, eight more again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven little kicks. And one, two, good. Three, four, five, six, seven. Breathe nice and tall. Come on. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Add a clap. And one, good. Two, three, four, five. Come on. Eight more, breathe nice and tall. Three, four, five, six, seven. Little windshields now. One, two, again. Three, five, six, seven, eight, again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nice and high for the heart. One, two, three, four, good. Five, six, seven. Let me see it. Come on. One. Two, three, four, five. Where are you going? <laughs> and one, two, up, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six. Back to windshield. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nice and tall. And one, again, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, back to clapping, and one, good, two, kick them out, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more, come on, Shh. two, three, four, five, six, seven, arms down, and kick it, two, three, four, five, six, breathe, seven, eight, again, one, your heart's working, come on, three, four, Five, six, seven, back to transitions, and one, two, great job! Four, five, six, seven, eight more, and one, two, three, four, keep breathing, five, six, seven, eight. Now drop your hands and keep your knees going. Now let's take your working heart rate, also called your target heart rate. Bring your hand to your wrist. 
just like you did before, and let's take our pulse. Are you ready? Get ready to start counting, and here's the clock. Ready? Go. Okay, stop. Shake it out. Take a look at our chart up here and find the number that is next to your age group. If you are lower than that number, you need to work a little harder. But if you are higher than that number, please slow down and take it easy during the rest of the exercises. Now let's get back to work. Here we go. And one, two, three, four. Good. Five, six, seven. Now heel to toe. And one, two. Good. Three. Just heels down. Five. Breathe nice and tall. Seven, eight. Again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, now Brazil arms. One, two, nice and high. Three, tall neck. Four, five, six, good, good. And again, one, two, three, four, heels. Five, six, A seven, toast now the rumba. And to one, your success. Two, good, three, four, ha, ah, five, six, seven, eight more. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven Hawaiian arms and one, two, nice and high. Three, four, keep moving. Five, six, seven. Woo, let's go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now Brazil again. Nice and high. Two, three, breathe. Four, five, heels down. Come on. Seven, and again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, now the rumba. Again, one, yeah, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Back to Hawaii. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, drop the hands and keep the heels going. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. Shh, good. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Back to transition. Transition. Two, three, four. Again, five, six, seven. One more set. Swing it. Two, three, four. We do a little dance step now. Six, seven, eight. Eight and one, two, three. Good. Just get the legs nice and warmed up. Second pass. Let's go for a third time. One more time. Let's add some arms halfway. Good. Take it down and up. Second pass. Third time. And fourth. Now let's bring the arms full up. One, inhale, and down, and up, and down, and inhale, third time, down, and up, and down, and a clap, here we go, one, two, three, good, and side, third time, all right, you guys time. getting a good sweat going? Little circles up again, halfway. They're moving now. Terrific. Up. Terrific. Feel that heart down. All right. Very good. And fourth. Make sure to watch that heart rate. Now all the way up again. Inhale. Nice and tall. And down. <laughs> Inhale. He is not having it. He, they are completely... Inhale, they're getting checked feet. out at this down. point. <laughs> Excellent. Good. <clears throat> Very good stuff. Very good stuff. Hello again. Thank you for your patience. And thank you again for uh, for stopping by. Very much appreciated. Thank you. Did I miss anything here? There's some, some big drama. Some fighting going on in the chat. Oh, break mustache. Thank you so much for... The 100 biddies. Thank you very much. Very, very generous. Very kind. Thank you. 
Oh, did Red Red Letter Media watch this one? I know there there's two of them. I think the second one, they're like outside, maybe, or is it like a different different gathering of celebrity uh, parents? Jackie Stallone, who clearly hates Robin Williams' mom, and vice versa. Oh dear. <laughs> Okay, so the the other one has Robin Williams' mom. Interesting. Very interesting. Jackie Stallone copied Sylvester's lip droop. I don't know why. Maybe she did it when he was young to make him feel better about it. And or it made it easier uh, to ride his coattails. Oh, man. Big drama. Don't tell him I did it. It's a secret. Well, secret's out. <clears throat> Stallone's lip droops like that because of an accident with forceps during his birth. Oh, wow. Interesting. But his mom was always on brand with the lip. Wow. The different video, yeah, yeah. Huh. Fun facts. Very fun facts. Thank you, Boot Blacking. Appreciate it. Very interesting. <clears throat> okay. So, I took a peek at a walkthrough. Very brief, very mild peek at the walkthrough. Um, and, for, well, for one, it wasn't, in, I, I don't know. I, I guess if I... In another time, another frame of mind, a more rested frame of mind, I perhaps would have gleaned the knowledge that um, Mr. Kir Kirill, a.k.a. the Sean Connery type at the uh, start of the game, he is smoking a pipe. And we need that pipe. We need that pipe in order to... Free the tree. In a roundabout way. We need the pipe to get matches from the bartender. We use the, the matches to light our lamp. And we're supposed to throw the lamp at the tree. Also, uh, the prophecy does not necessarily have to be completed in order. Nor can it be, um, from what it seems like. So, yeah. Now, uh, thank you again for the... Uh, the hint boot blacking I apologize now you look at this guy and tell me that's a pipe I mean he's the only person smoking but e even from here it's it's quite difficult to notice that he is smoking yeah. so ask him about the pipe can I borrow one of your pipes gotta burn him he's not gonna be happy about it yeah I look forward to that <clears throat> I suppose so, Yin. You may have this one. It's not one of my favorites. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Okay. Uh, this is just a coffer. A coffer. A coffer. Okay. This is one of the the thing that little inventory boost things, I suppose. Alright, so now we're holding the pipe and the ribbon. And that's nice. We can store store a few things in there, should we need to. Um, <clears throat> it also said that we have to buy tobacco for it. And I'm curious if the game will actually tell us that. I'm, I'm hoping that the game will be nice Assuming that I did not read the walkthrough and go to the, the bartender and be like, hey, you have to go buy tobacco from the store. I see that you have a pipe. If I can't get you anything else, at least let me give you a light. Thanks, Seth, but I also don't sm... Seth, you lazy bartender. Didn't you hear me? I need another draw to ale. I'm coming, Julio. Julio. Just give me a second. Sorry about that, Ian. Here's a match if you want to light your pipe. 
If I don't get Julio another ale, he'll never shut up. Okay, so he just gave us a match. That's fine. Uh, see you later. Well, alrighty then. Got the match. And let's hold the lamp. Hey, look at that. We can get a cool little animation for it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright. Hopefully it doesn't go out by the time we get there. Let's go say hi to Mr. Tree. <clears throat> Very good. Thanks again for the 100 bet spray of mustache. I don't know. I didn't read the Twitch Terms of Service too deeply, but uh, I am eligible for my first big paycheck from uh, Daddy Benzos. Um, how it works is that you have to meet like a minimum threshold of $50. Right now it's $50. I don't know if that increases if you're once you're a partner or reach like a higher number of things, numbers. But you have to have a minimum of you have to earn a minimum of fifty dollars uh, before the middle of each month to be eligible for a uh, a payout. And I think you can take either all all of it or like everything except the fifty dollars. That I'm unsure of, but we'll find out in the middle of October. So thank you once again, uh, Brave Mustache, and everyone else. You boot blacking and everyone else like all the support has just been freaking amazing yeah and i have i am keeping track keeping track especially streamers who have given to me um I'm gonna get something very special in return okay let's get this freaking tree on the road here uh i'm just gonna drop the burned match Ah, thank you very much, Boot Blacking. Thank you. All right, here we go. What? <clears throat> hey, wait! What are you doing? I'm gonna burn! Please don't do this! I'm gonna burn! No! Oh, beautiful. Very nice. The art in this is really great. Little animations. Brutal. Our character sucks. I really don't like that I named him Ian. All right, now we got his ashes. <laughs> That's a great fire emote right there. Lord BBH. What is that from? What game is that from? Very good. Okay, so we need the wine. We can get the goblet. Okay. I, I'm I'm reaching the end of my knowledge uh, that I gleaned from the walkthrough. The next thing that it said was to talk to the bar people again, and we should get a new location. Still have a little bit of fear of soft locking. We'll find out. We'll see. Turn to the severed head. All right, what do y'all got to say now? Okay, I heard, yeah, this is new. I heard Edward had a mysterious package delivered to that gypsy fortune teller before the night of his murder. What's her name, Marja? Uh, can't you all just give it a rest? I thought we, were, we weren't gonna talk about him anymore. Are you interested in what might be in that package? Shock troopers, yeah, that makes sense. <clears throat> No, I'm not, but if you're so interested... Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Brave Mustache. Success. Very, very kind. Thank you very much. Maybe Shock Troopers, too. Those were Neo Geo games, correct? A little more from Daddy Bay's. Thanks again, Brave Mustache. Uh, no, I'm not, but if you're so interested, why don't you go to the gypsy camp and ask Marja about the package? I'm not that interested. Gypsy camps all the way to the northeast, near Karn's own castle. Yes, Neo Geo, yeah. 
<clears throat> Seth, would you bring me another ale? And while you're at it, a round for Claudia and Julio too. Julju too. All right, got a new location. Go check it out. Oh, we got Karn's Fortress on here now too. Okay. I'll be careful with that one. Hey, Michael Thing, great to see you, man. Thank you uh, for the lurk. I and and thank you for reminding me that I need to make a lurk command. I hope you're having a having a good day. I hope you had a good rest of your stream anniversary. Thank you for the beautiful melody. And uh, oh, and I one last thing. I do need to apologize to you because I believe I called you and your viewers Finnish when you are in fact Polish. My apologies. Apologies for my American ignorance. Um, also, a really funny thing. Um, uh, my friend, while she was at work on the street, uh, she found, um, a two-piece of, uh, Polish currency. Was it called the Grozzi? The Grozzi? She found, she found a two, a two-cent piece. Um, very uncommon. I've never seen Polish currency, neither has she. Um, she works in healthcare, so maybe it was a visitor. Um, uh, but yeah, I thought that was a pretty funny coincidence, because that happened earlier in the day. Gros. Grosh. Grosh. Yeah. I thought that was pretty funny, because later that day, who decides to raid me but the greatest Polish streamer on Twitch? So, thank you again. Alright, we are here at the Gypsy Camp. Got some pretty badass looking trailers here. Very cool. See if I can hop in this green one. No, I think I'm in an invisible wall here. Very great music happening right now. Talk to this guy. How you doing? My name's Carlos. Hey, Carlos. Not even close. Thank you for the kind words. No, thank you. Jank or Jewel? I was, I was remembering what you said the other night about how I think you said it gave people trouble or whatever <clears throat> it gave me a little bit of trouble I ju we, we just read our first walkthrough hint or I did I should say I don't want to uh, implicate any of anybody else here but again it's hard to hard to say if it's the game's fault or just me being a, a newbie's fault, but regardless, um, it, it it seemed kind of fair. It was fair what the solution was. It was just something that was really, was a detail that was really hard to see. You're supposed to notice that a character is smoking a pipe, to ask him about the pipe, but it's it's like less than a pixel. You can't even tell that this character is smoking a pipe. But whatever, we're making progress. We'll uh. We're, we're going to continue. We're going to see this through. Dear viewers at home. Uh, some of these games back then were designed to be super difficult or obtuse on their puzzles. Yeah, it's hard to say. It's hard to say, right? Because, you know, there weren't a lot of games in general. So there's no there's no real standard. They're, they're still setting the standard for what's acceptable as like a, a good puzzle. Or a logical puzzle. Right, I have heard of that. Um, I Looking through the manual for this game, I don't know if there was a, a hint line, but definitely Sierra and maybe even LucasArts, um, they definitely advertised that, that sweet hotline. They, de they absolutely did. <clears throat> yeah, exactly, yeah. Uh, my name's Ian. I'm kind of new around here. Say, what are you carving? You mean you can't tell? Oh well, I never claimed to be the greatest woodworker. I'm hoping that when I'm finished, a, this piece of wood here will be a flute. Woodworker. Really? It isn't that bad. I'm sure you're a very good word woodworker. This is probably the nicest we've been to any other character in this game so far. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll prove to you that I'm not all that bad. You find me a good piece of wood, a sturdy tree limb or something, 
I'll carve you something special. Special, you say? What do you mean by special? Well now, that all depends on the wood you bring me. Different woods can be made to different things. I have to see the wood for it to reveal its potential. Prove. Honestly, you don't have to prove anything. I insist. You're playing an adventure game. You're going to need this item that I have. Besides, if you like what I make, it might make you become a regular customer. Next thing I know, you'll be wanting me to make all kinds of things. Bye. Well, ask him about flute? No. Okay. All right. We got a guy that wants some wood. I don't think we have any wood, really. Let's move on. We're here to find out about a suspicious package that the murdered Edward received. Oh, cool. We got a little fortune telling action going on. Greetings, my name's Marja. Have you come to me for a foretelling? If so, it will cost one silver coin. Well, Marja, I gotta tell ya. You mean like the future? What the hey? <laughs> it can't hurt. Ugh, oh, gosh, this guy sucks. Give me your palm. Oh, cool. A little cutscene. Our hands are massive. We're a freaking gorilla person. Divining, as I close my eyes, I see. It's a dark and dank place. I cannot see clearly, but I know you are there. You have a hammer in your hand. And your arm is rising and falling. Wait, there's something else. Nails. I see iron nails. That is all. Bye. Oh, wait, did I? I must have given her a silver piece then. Or no, she said coin. I'm still confused about the coins. That was like a separate currency. I dropped all my coins back at the, the monastery. Oh, you know what I didn't realize that you could do? Um, perhaps, okay, they have to be the same, right? Maybe I can just put those coins back in, the, in our coin purse. I'm going to go try that after we've talked to everyone here. Okay, so... We know about nails. And a hammer. We already gave that hammer to Kirill, though. Who is this? Hello, I'm Carmen. I'm a healer. Are you hurt? If so, I can tend to your wounds. Or is it something else that you want? I can make many different potions. Ah. Maybe this is what the herbs are for. What kind of potions? All depends on your needs. I can make elixirs for the helping... Uh, for elixirs of healing... For many of the villagers, those take a long time to make. More than I have, uh, more time than I have at the moment. That is. But if you could find the correct ingredients, I might be able to make a potion that would cure madness. Okay, very good. Ingredients. What do you need? Requires use of two plants, one of fennel and the leaves of betony. Betony. Also, I need a lock of hair. From one who suffers, and a wide belly jar with a face painted on it. That's a little odd. Uh, with these, I'm fairly sure I can. You're, you're only fairly sure you can make use make the draught. Of course, I've never tried. Oh, okay, great. Because I can't find all the new ingredients. Interesting. Uh, if you had all the ingredients, you don't have everything I need. Wounds? Can you heal me? We are a little bit hurt. Just be quiet and relax. Trust me, when I'm done with you, you'll be good as new. A little drowsy, but good as new. You won't even know you're hurt. There, all healed. Oh, great. Thanks, Carmen. Lovely. Is that free? I'm guessing it was. Uh... Oh, that's how you look in the sack. Okay. Okay, I put the fennel branch in there. And two coins. Okay, great. Good, good, good. Well, let's just put all this stuff back in there then. Put the darts in there too. Very good. It's like getting a backpack in uh, Resident Evil, if you will. I'll throw the darts. Uh, yeah, that's fine. 
<clears throat> Excuse me. Massive sack. We know where to look for plants. So far, the only plants that we've seen uh, have been at the, um, the crash site. And the fennel came from the, uh, the herb lady. We bought that from her. Okay. Very good. Uh, still don't know about this package. Is that all we can do here? Nothing in the fire pit. Okay. All right. I'm going to start writing more stuff down. I'm going to write down the ingredients this lady said. Uh, potions. Ingredients. So you need fennel. And leaves of betoni. And the lock of hair. We know that the kid has the lock of Natalia's hair. And the jar of a wide belly with face paint. I have way too many jars right now. Uh, IRL. Comes from repeated salsa addiction. But um, there's a lot of great salsas that are made and sold here in Michigan. And they're often in very cool jars. I save them. Hey, Pixel Chucky, how you doing? Great to see you. My manners here. Also, boot blacking. Uh, do you stream at all? I don't know if you're still here or not, but also I also forgot to shout out the Michael thing. But uh, good morning, good morning, Pixel Turkey. I just looked it up the other day because I've been curious about time zones, and I believe you are twelve hours into the future. So uh, happy Tuesday to you. I hope you're having a good day. And I hope uh, the lemmings are treating you well. Um, I think I watched a little bit of you this morning. I don't think that you were finishing it. Um, shout out. The Michael thing. There you go. Yes, no, thank you for stopping by. Thank you very much. Pixel Turkey is a very good streamer and artist. Uh, and so is the Michael Thing. Beautiful voice on that Michael Thing. If you don't follow him, be sure to stop on by and follow. And uh, he'll sing you a song. I did my best to return the favor when he raided me. And uh, Pixel Turkey gave us... Level 76. Gosh, that's insane. God bless you for for doing that. <laughs> uh, you can tell that the hooks are in. And it's always good to see somebody like actually enjoy a game. Like to to really get, you know, absorbed by it. I can tell you're having a good time with it, and that's awesome. Um but yeah, I'm pretty sure Pixel Turkey gave us our first raid. Uh so um, with her permission, I I consider her to be the godmother of uh, of this stream. So thank you very much. Again. Um, where were we going? Oh yeah, I was gonna stop back at the monastery and see if we can pick up our coins again, and throw them into our satchel. Yes, they're still on the floor here. Good. Take these. A little house cleaning. Right in there. This is also good because before I thought that I had just dropped them on the ground and they were gone forever. They were not. Uh, did we 
We didn't buy two holy waters, did we? No, I don't think we did. Okay. So, we have our ashes. And the fortune teller said we were in a dank place. Dark place with a hammer. The only hammer that I know of was the one that we gave away to uh, Mr. Kirill. Let's go back and talk to him. See if we can get that hammer back. Gross bloody hammer, by the way. Not at all suspicious. Alright. Oh, yeah, and also speaking of streaming, Brave Mustache. How has the new headphones been treating you? If you're around. Brave Mustache has also been known to stream here and there. And he is a fantastic, fantastic human specimen. Please. No, you please. Thank you. Very, very good dude. Uh, and much more talented of a gamer than I am. Uh, hello, Curl. Bill. Yeah, that's what they all say, Brave Mustache. Uh, can we have the hammer back, please? No. Finding. You know I've already found the hammer. Who would have the cellar's locked? We need to get a key from him. Oh, really? Does it not work that well with your um, with your stuff? Uh... Oh, I see. That's too bad. Yeah, you gotta have something to listen to uh, your tunes with, right? Consoles and PC work great. Oh, that's good. I'm gonna head back downstairs to the cellar. Doesn't look like there's anything on the ground. This is locked. Not use the pry bar. Perhaps I can pry open a crate. Hmm. Well, now that we know, we can just buy random shit that is unlisted, unless we ask for it, uh, from the shop. Maybe we can get what we need from the shop. Ask him once more about the vine. Go to the server, Dad. Okay. All right. You know about the hammer? Oh, I need the bloody hammer I gave to Kirill a while back, and I need it now. Well, no, I'm not so sure I should give you anything, Mr. Mr. Christo. Give. Shut up. I <laughs> oh, that face. That beautiful face. You're really starting to get out of my nerves. Get the hammer now. All right, but I will tell Mr. Kristovich about this. Here, take the hammer. Wait. And if you ever yell at me again, I'll use that hammer to crush your skull. Seriously. Yeah, he's a massive, massive man. We are way too bold I'm talking to him. Okay. So we got the hammer. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Yeah, beautiful face. 
beautiful face. For some, I don't know the standards of like anything on Twitch, but for some reason, that emote took like twice as long uh, to go through for approval than like any of my other emotes. Very interesting. Maybe it's because of the weekend. I don't know. Okay, so we have a hammer. That still doesn't help us get into that cell. Or get into the uh, the basement. Do you have a, like a key in here maybe? No. We already looked through there. There's the pipe. We have the ashes. We got the quill. A ribbon. A burned match. Really can't see any use for that. You never know. Let's go to the store. Welcome back. Uh, do you have a key? Maybe you have the key. No? Hmm. I don't want to go back to the fortune teller. And we also have the castle, too. Which definitely sounds like bad news. Like, probably actually have to do some fighting there. Let's go back to the camp. We didn't learn about this package. It's supposed to be from that Edward supposedly got here. I can't go in here. I don't think so. Let's ask this guy about the package. Uh, what do you think? Looks great, buddy. Uh, it sort of looks like a, um, I mean, if you look at it from, you mean you can't tell? Greatest woodworker, uh, this will be a flute. About Edouard, no? Package, no? That's the fortune teller, or Carmen. Hello. Uh, yes, I have. You're gonna give us a new one? You mean the future? What the hey? Can't hurt. Alright. Another lovely fortune telling cutscene. I like your earring. Nice earring. Hmm. The same image as I did before. Dark and dank, I cannot see clearly, but then, but again, I know you are there. You have a hammer in your hand, and your arm is rising and falling. So we're either, like, bashing somebody, or we have, we're nailing something. Oh, nails. I see nails. Iron nails. When a vision repeats itself, it usually means that the player is stupid and stuck on a pu very simple puzzle. But I saw a very strong part of your fate. I have seen nothing new, so keep your silver coin. Oh, very very kind of you. Free of charge, thank you. Do you know anything about a package? Oh, Edward's package? Ah, uh, yes, I remember. I had almost forgot about that package. Good thing you typed in the secret word for me to remember. Edward was a strong man. He came to me many times for card readings and to discuss the occult. I don't think the man had many friends, so he came here uh, to me as often as possible. I saw his death. When I told him, he didn't seem too surprised. The next day, he sent me this package. The day after, I learned that he was murdered. There was only one thing in the package. A key. Very good. Okay, so yeah. The, the prophecy allows for all the, the game and the characters to just get away with having wacky connections to random items to give you or, you know, to progress. Um, I don't know what it's used for, so you might as well have it. Bye. Okay. We got a key. And it sounds like we need nails. Uh, let us wander on back town. <clears throat> That's, I think that's the first, maybe second emote that I'm actually proud of. I, I I could definitely clean that up, make it a little sharper, but I'm still learning how to use the gimp. 
properly. Uh, where am I going? Let's, uh, well, let's look at the key. First. Edward's key. Have it in our hands. It has to be for the seller, right? There's not, I mean, there's no other, like, door. I guess there is the door in the basement of the monastery. But we don't really have any motivation to be peeking around in there as of yet. Uh, nope. Down here? Oh, hey, she's in the, uh, this room. The ballroom. Hello, I was afraid we wouldn't get a chance to talk. Did everything go well with Father? Okay, this is the same dialogue. And then we awkwardly hit on her again. <laughs> with that million dollar smile. Such a lovely daughter. And she tells us about the wine. Uh, keeps it under lock and key. What? This key? No, nothing to say. Alright. Move on. Uh, down here. Down here. Dum, 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 dum. Okay. Um, let's do another save. We'll continue with Boot Mustache. <clears throat> Here it is. Door is locked. Key in hand. Door is locked. No option to use key. Unless I have to... And drag it up here and then click it on the door. Nope. <laughs> Just kind of chunk it at the door there. Oh, what the hey? Hmm. Perhaps it is not for this door. Babylon Zool? Man. Babylon Zool. This tricked me. Hey, y'all. Hey, Tindley. Thank you so much. Vojinin. Vojinin? Vujinin? Probably completely butchered your name there. Game Dev Jeff. Draconic Dude. Thank you so much, Babylon Zool. I apologize. This is a uh, even extra chiller stream than usual. And thank you for reminding me that I need to make some type of uh, fun, wacky, explosive uh, uh, raid message. But uh, yeah, Woozy Dice, always a pleasure. Thank you for stopping by. Beautiful emotes, by the way. Um, yeah, thank you so much. Babylon Zuel. Thank you, Trick Me. Yes, it... it oh, of course. I just shout, shouted it out myself, because I can't spell. Babylon Zuel. I hate that it does that. If you misspell something, it just shouts yourself out. It makes you look like such a... Such a prude. But there you are. You were playing retro. What were you playing? Mr. Zool. And thank you once once again. Yeah, we got we got the whole the whole party in here tonight. Or this morning for them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh also check out Trick Me. If you haven't already. There's a very good chance that all of y'all already know her, but she is also a fantastic streamer. I still need to check out that Digimon Cyber Sleuth story. The more I hear about it, the uh, the more intrigued I am. Apparently you can get arrested in it, and you can post bail. You can do some hard time with, uh, with Digimon. <laughs> You're trying out your HOTA's controls in Star Wars Squadrons and playing some SNES games. Oh, sweet. Of course, Trick Me. Thank you 
for all of your uh, your kind words. Uh, what are Hota's controls? What is that? Is that like a physical peripheral? Is that, is that an actual controller? Hota's. Hota's. Hands on throttle. Oh man, you got you got that whole setup. Here, that's sweet. I'm definitely gonna have to check that out. That's great, man. Yeah, I've always wanted a, a flight stick. We had one at one point. I don't think we ever got it to work well with whatever we were trying with. It might have been it might have been for Tie Fighter, if I remember right, or it might have been for like a mech game. But uh, yeah, they they definitely make some badass ones out there. Well, that's really cool. I hope it went well. Um, yeah, I would definitely love to check that out. So, we just got a key. And I either am too stupid to figure out how to use it, or it is not what we need. I have it in my hand. Hmm. I can't just walk up to him. Maybe I need to be a little farther away from the door. Click it onto here. Nope, that just drops it there. Hmm. Pixel is great with the lemmings. Yeah, she she is a master. Very impressive. Squadron seems cool, but I got stuck and I think it's a bug. You know their motto, EA Sports bucks it's in the game yeah 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 back then though e ea was an okay company before they started going crazy and buying up cool developers and not letting them work on their games anymore uh my god am i gonna have to okay i'm gonna take another peek at the manual See if i'm missing something again uh, about how to use these dangus items. Gosh darn items. <clears throat> no. Form an action. Left click on the action icon to initiate it. So when you put the key into your hand, or when you put any object into your character's hand, if there's an action that you can take with it, it will show up uh, in the little black box in the in the bottom right. So if you equip a weapon, it will show you like your character doing a little stance. You can click on it to use the weapon. Uh, with the match, you could click on it to light something. Nothing nothing pops up with the key. Um, pick up an object, drop an item. Right mouse button, hidden keywords, keyboard interaction, use object in right or left hand. God, I wish I had a printer. I want to print out some NPC text. Uh, the magnify option. Configure the game so that objects are always displayed in their larger form. This, may, this option may make some parts of the game easier. Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting. Got the containers. Got the prophecy. Got the map. Combat, auto mapping. Objects. You need to be in a certain location or combination of objects. Objects must be placed somewhere on the large figure of your character. Some objects are worn. Hmm. Yeah, I just... Doors. Other doors are locked and require a special key. If the door is locked, your character is able to walk through that door as long as the key required to unlock the door is somewhere in the character's inventory. Okay. So it's not it. This isn't the key that we need here. Uh, yeah, of course, Babylon Zool. Thank you again. So freaking much. Very, very kind. Okay, this is not the key that we need. 
let's go poke around. What are some other locked doors? Well, I suppose we could just go to Edward's house. He was in, he was in the library. But perhaps that key is to the library. Uh, there's nothing important here. We should just be able to walk right into whatever we need. Now, what was the magnify mode? Object magnify mode is on. Oh, I see. Okay. So if it's on the ground, it changes it from it's on the ground art to the inventory art. That's kind of nice. Kind of nice. Haven't really needed that yet. Yet. Big yet. Uh, let's go back to the library where we found Deadward. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Uh, this was the locked door. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, boy. We have a dank basement, perhaps? Dum, dum, dum. Oh, baby. Is that a nice... Oh, we have a plethora of coins. Please don't tell me this is all it was. Just some coins. One, two, three silvers. What is this? Is this another funky chair? I'm gonna take. Another bookshelf to push. Squeeze it. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Excellent, excellent. Very good. I'm gonna take a peek at this shelf. I'm gonna throw down another save. This one will be Zool's Cools. Thank you again, Babylon Zool. <clears throat> okay. Hey Necrokeys, how you doing? You are a streamer. I know that for a fact. Because I apologize, I saw you live. I was not able to have the time to sit down and uh, hang out. Uh, are you still playing Strong Bad's cool game for attractive people? I really want to check that game out. I love Strong Bad and Homestar Runner in general. Um, we're about to enter this dank basement here. Kind of smelling a fight. We were long overdue for some combat. Oh man, I never noticed. Um, I never noticed the background change in the inventory, depending on what uh, kind of environment you're in. That's really cool. Oh, perhaps this is why. Oh dear. Oh dear. We're in the catacombs. I like this kind of like napkin, <laughs> the the mapkin. Uh, Kind of thing they got going on here. Lots of really cool little uh, touches in here. Unfortunately, our printer is offline. I'll move this up a little bit. Notice I'm kind of punched a bit. Get rid of that. Okay. So we're in our first maze. Um, let's arm ourselves. Try out our new ceremonial gothic mace. 50 damage points. Pitchfork does 60, but it is darn slow. Just do a little, little poke. Believe that is faster than the pitchfork. Pook. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's much faster. That's much better. I don't know if holding two weapons affects you at all. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, so you can kind of go back and forth, do a little dual action there. All right. We have a north and an east. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Oh man. 
Too bad there aren't any sound effects. At least in this version. Come on. Big damage. Oh, am I? I don't know if I threw. Yeah, I must have. I either threw it or uh, they made me drop it. Interesting. You got fully artists set work in your head. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you, trick me. Uh, how bad are we? Ah, uh, we didn't. We barely took any damage. Just little guys. Little guys. There are maps looking. Okay. Very good. Excellent map. Excuse me. Okay. Like another little out there. What is this? A little stream? Water? Nothing to take. Don't think these are anything either. They're just there to look cool. Uh, let's go south. South-ish. Alright. Any other punks in here? The little corridor. Cool. Doesn't appear to be randomized. I would doubt it. You never know. You know. Appears to be a dead end. Do, 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 do. I'm going to turn up the game just a little bit. Let me know if it is too loud or not. And thank you once again, everyone, for being here. Very kind. Happy Monday evening or Tuesday morning, wherever you are. Hope you're doing well. All right. Snakes around here. On the crossroads. Uh, let's go. Oh, did I turn it up too much? Okay. I apologize. Still getting a feel for that, yeah. That should be a little bit better. And thank you for letting me know. Okay. Uh, another dead end. Wait a second. Is this something? Can I hit it? No. They are huge. Yes, indeed. Very, very big. Who would have thunk, right? A cursed Romanian village being ransacked by werewolves. Oh, here we go. The door is locked. Of course it is. Uh, can I pry it? The door won't budge. Okay. Let me arm myself again. Nice. Okay. We have a door here. Then this little squiggly section. And we'll continue to the west and the north. Do, 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 do. We'll keep going north. North ish. <clears throat> oh, music change. Oh, shoot. Oh, are we in the cellar? This must be Kirill's cellar. Look at all this beautiful loot. Coin, coin. What's that? Oh, dear. Inventory's full. In the sack. My sack is full. I can throw some stuff in the coffer. 
Uh, let's just throw the coins in the coffin. We are getting wealthy. Really wish those coins stacked, but what can you do? Okay. <clears throat> what do we have here? Oh, it's a pouch. Perfect. Okay. Allow me to do a little more housekeeping here. Oh, it's a big old pouch. Lovely. Free stuff. Oh. <laughs> Excellent one-two combo there with the uh, the Veils of Darkness protagonist emote. Thank you, Trick Me. Very well done. Um, yeah, let's throw our coins in here. Presumably the key is no longer necessary, but this is one of those games where you never know. I'm trying to remember the first game I can remember uh, that I played, and I want to say it was like one of the more modern Resident Evil games, where when you use an item that no longer has any use, it it will tell you that it's safe to throw away. So kind. So considerate. Consideration for the player. Definitely a more modern invention. Well, I mean, some games back then were nice. Uh, let's move all of our extra inventory stuff up here. We'll keep our weapons out. Um, put the match in there just because I have no clue if it's going to be needed or not. <clears throat> uh, yeah, this will be fine for now. Alright, what else we got in here? We got another key. Another coin. Throw that in there. Did that work? I like how the, the backpack gets progressively thicker as your inventory increases. Very nice. The wine cellar key, of course. Okay, perfect. And is this the fine wine? Excellent. Sweet berry wine. Is he gonna catch us just strolling out of here with a <laughs> big bloody mace? Uh, I'm still interested in the catacombs, however. We did not, I don't think we hit all of the uh, the dead ends in there. Oh, I see. So you still need the key to open the door. It doesn't unlock a door permanently. Um, yeah, let's just finish mapping out this cellar. Just in case. We had a, a door, a lo another locked door right there. Perhaps this key will work on that door as well. Let's find out. Find it out. Right. Nice moss over there. Uh, appears to be just another dead end. Okay, so that's it. Nice, cute, quaint little catacombs. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Very easy. A small handful of bats. Easy peasy. All right. So, we're gonna give this wine to the bartender. Thank you for the GG trick me. Who's that? Oh, Ilya Superstar. Super Czar. That guy's music is freaking great. Yeah. Shouts to, to, to Ilya Superstar. Does he stream as well? Well, he must, obviously, because he has a, a freaking emo. Trick me, will you do me a favor and type out his name, their name, uh, so that I can spell it correctly for a, uh, a shout out? I would appreciate it. I do not need to be back up here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Very lazy. Well, I wouldn't call myself lazy, but I would just 
say that my brain is not good at quick memorization. I would have to like quick peek at the emote and then uh, type a little bit and then peek at the e emote again. But yeah, this wonderful person makes very wonderful music. Uh, if you like garage rock or like psychedelic, I, I wouldn't even call it garage rock. It's, it's the production value is way nicer than just like BS garage rock music that I make. But um, oh sure, yeah, no, thank you, Trick Me. Um, yeah, really, really good like classic style psychedelic rock music. And it appears he appears to own a sitar and play it very, very well. So I would definitely recommend him if you're looking for some very fine music to listen to. Uh, let's see, does Kirill have to, anything to say that um, we have his hammer and his wine? Doubtful. Uh, okay, here we are. Excuse me. All right, back to this severed head. Oh, Mr. Bartender. You don't mind me asking, is that a bottle of Kirill's wine you have? How did you ever get your hands on? I mean, Kirill's guard, Kirill guards his wine collection like Sorry, I don't mean to ramble. I'll tell you what, if you if you break open that bottle, we'll drink a toast. A toast from that fine go gold goblet of mine. I'd like that, Seth. I'd like that a lot. And that bottle is the finest around. And the way Kirill hoards his wine collection, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Sweet. I love the little cutscenes you get. Look at that freaking cut. That's a fishbowl. Jesus. All right. There you go. It's freaking margarita night at the severed head. Booze. <laughs> Seth, this is going to tick you off. But I need to keep the goblet for a while. Thanks for just handing it to me. Uh, I promise I'll give it back later, but I need it for now. Wait one minute. What do you mean my, you're going to take my goblet? Give it back now. Sorry, Seth, but I have to keep it. I'll bring it back after I'm done with it, I promise. Oh, man. Poor Seth. Golden goblet. Cannot drink out of it. But we already know that we have to use the ashes with it. Uh, we have to go like this? Maybe we just give them both to the uh, Finders Keepers. That's right. Oh, yeah, that's the other uh, emote that I added. That is from uh, Barbarian. I was inspired from watching McCaw play a marathon, a birthday marathon of Barbarian games. And that's from the... Um, I think that's from a Commodore 64 Barbarian game. I need to play a Barbarian game. I have not played any. Uh, okay, so we have the ashes. We have the goblet. What else did he need? Was this it? I feel like this was it. This was all the priest needed to bring someone back to life. We still haven't really fulfilled any of the, um, the fortune teller's fortune. It involved the hammer somehow. Take a look at the prophecy. And we still haven't freed the monk, even though we got the quill from him. Don't know what to do with this quill yet. So, let's pop on back over to the monastery. Let's have a talk with Mr. Monk. And also, we still have the castle. Not gone to the castle yet. A little scared too. We do have holy water though. What's going on? Play your monk music. Cool monk music. You have returned. 
Tell me about your services. Many, my friend. Resurrect. Come on. You mean to tell me that one time you raised someone from the dead? Probably still could. Got the cup. Uh, required ashes. Yes. Got him. Golden vessel, cup of life. Perform the ritual of a donation of three silver pieces. Got him. Let's do it. Perform it. By the light, you've actually found the cup of life. And I see you've got someone's ashes as well. It's almost like you're playing a video game. If you don't mind, I'll take the cup, silver coins, and ashes. I'll begin to perform the ritual immediately. Oh, I bet this will be a cool cutscene. Yeah. Ooh, dang, that was that was pretty slick. Very good. Hey, tree man. Yes, he's alive. I, I have brought a man back from the dead. Uh, one, one who has retained his soul, unlike the flesh-eating dead ones. Oh, man. Okay, so he's got a bunch of, like, gross failed experiments somewhere. Hey, tree buddy. You need uh, some pants there? Ooh, rat burgers. Rat burgers. Thank you, Babylon Zool. Oh, man, look how pissed he is. What the? I'm alive. I can't believe this. I'm alive and back in my own body. Shouldn't you be happy? Alive. Sorry about what I did. <laughs> Sorry for burning you to death. Jesus Christ. Could have done it a little more humanely, I suppose. Uh, sorry about that, but there's no other choice. Now, where is my plane? What makes you think I'm going to tell you anything? Well, we did have a deal. I'm sure you could have found another way, right? You have no idea how painful it was to burn. I'll tell you what I should do. I should. Oh. Did you tell me where? Did you tell me where my plane is? You ungrateful! I'll gladly tell you where your plane is. The dead ones took it to the swamp. Yes, the swamp. And I hope they cast it into the quagmire. If they did, you'll never see your plane again. I'm leaving. May the dark one take your soul. Man. All right. Well, were you gonna leave or? You again. Out! Get out of here now! I'll have nothing to do with the likes of you. Oh dear. Oh, this poor guy. This character is such a dick. Can we at least get... I don't have any clothes. Can I give him a ribbon? Can't tie a ribbon to your hand. Yeah. Poor guy. Okay. Alright. So... I don't think we have anything new uh, that could possibly be blessed. Cash for billionaire skeletons. How do you yourself, partner? Wait, hold on. There you go. There you go, partner. Nice to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Happy uh, Monday or or Tuesday, wherever you're at. Happy time zone. Good to see you. Okay, where was I? I'm looking for stuff that we might have um, for the monk to bless. We have the dead match. We got a couple of keys. I'm going to throw that key in there. And then this was just herbs, darts, and more coins. Eh, why not? Can't hurt. Maybe he'll have something new to say now that he's successfully raised a man from the dead. I feel like you've discovered a secret. Hidden phrases get hat cutscenes. That's right, yeah. You've unlocked uh, the, the, text, the Ian text parser secrets. Congratulations. Uh, I owe you a, a VIP diamond, I believe. Did you have one when you were, um, when you had your, uh, previous username? I cannot recall. Um, simple services, brothers. I feel like he's not going to have anything new to say. Brother Leon. We asked him about Leon before, yeah. Services. 
What about getting a new organ player? Man. The, still the sharpest organ I have ever heard. We can get more holy water. No. We don't have anything to bless. Okay. Leave our poor naked tree man. Maybe like a robe or something around here that you can use. Uh, and now we have the swamp. The swamp. Um, I don't want to click on there yet because there might just be like straight up fighting. Uh, and then we still have the wood carver at the gypsy camp that we don't know. Oh yeah, we can get healed at the gypsy camp. I'm pretty sure that was free, so let's just go do that. Excellent music at the gypsy camp. Always a good time. I'm going to count our silver pieces. We got three, seven, ten. Can't remember, did she just straight up say it was free? Also, might be some junk on the ground here for us to take. I'm gonna use the magnify mode. No, okay. Hello, Carmen. Potions, wounds. I have some wounds that need healing. Just be quiet and relax. Trust me, good as new. There, I'll heal. Thanks, Carmen. Can't even give her that $10 smile for free healing service. Come on, character, Ian. Uh, okay, and we still need to find the ingredients, which I did write down. Lock of hair, uh, jar with a face painted on it. Okay. We got rid of the wine, right? Okay, yeah. So we got a few, a few inventory slots that we can mess around with. Um, I don't think we've fulfilled the fortune. Let's throw down a save. And I just passed three hours, so I'm gonna take a very brief. We'll save over uh, Zul's cools. I'm gonna take a brief intermission. It won't be as long as I was the first intermission. I'm going to... Shut that down. <clears throat> um, thank you again so much, everyone, uh, for stopping by and hanging out. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you once again to uh, Babylon Zool for the raid. And trick me for the pumpkin dance. Uh, please enjoy. We'll resume with aerobics with Richard Simmons and the Silver Foxes. Feel free to get up out of your chair and participate. Get that body moving. Check your heart rate. And uh, yeah, please enjoy. And I'll, I'll return very shortly. Thank you again. Third time, fourth time, hips going again, two, three, four, five, and a snap, come on, seven, eight, again, one, two, three, four, five, six, a little bit of dancing, and one, two, three, now back, again, front, come on, put this yourself into it, and front, back last time and front and back now add a knee and front little ones good and to the back and front and back and front and back one more time and back now add a clap here we go front good 
let me hear it. And front. Now, third time. And front. Back. Front. And back. And front. Take it up. And down. Good. Inhale. And back. Inhale. Again, last time. Front. And back. Hands down. And just go to the front again. That first step again. Back. Front. That's your second time. Third time. Good. Back. Fourth time. Now we're going to bring that knee up again. Your heart's working. Here we go. And up. Let me hear it. And front. And back. And front. And back. And front. And back. Add that clap again. Here we go. Woo! And again. Second pass. And again. And front. And back. And front. Lay. Here we go now. Arms. And back. Keep that knee going. Little teeny steps. Do as much as you can. Third time. And back. And forth. And back. And hips. Two. Three. Four. Good. Five. Swing them. Seven. Eight. Again. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven little plies and one, two, good. Feel those arms working. Four and again. Five, six, keep your knees nice and soft. Seven, eight, eight more and eight. Seven, please breathe. Six, five, four, three, two, one, now kisses, and one, touch him. Two, feel the shoulders working. Three, four, five, good, six. Come on, Harry. And again, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, side to side, and one, two, good, sway it out, three, four, five, six, breathe, seven, terrific, eight, and again, one, two, feel those arms working, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, underarms now. One, use that muscle. Two, little ones. Three, four, five. Woo, come on. Seven, eight, eight more. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, now, scare cross and down. Two, lift those up. Breathe. Three, you're working that hard. Come on. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight more. And one. Good. Two, three, four. Breathe. Five, six, seven, Eight elbow kisses and one. That's it. That's it. Two. Really work it. Three. Four. Head up nice and tall. Five. Six. Seven. Eight more. Come on. You need these. And one. Try a little harder. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, side to side, Atlas, one. Open them up. Three, four, five, six, nice and soft knees, seven, eight, and again, one. Good, two, you're almost finished. Three, four, woo, come on, five, six, seven, Eight, 
under arms and one. Push it out. Two, three, four, and again. Five, where's that smile? Six, seven, eight, your last eight, and eight, seven. Come on, you're almost there. Six, five, four, three, two, Last time for transitions. Come on, three, you're doing a fantastic job. Five, six, seven, and again. One, breathe, two, cool down that heart. Four, five, six, seven, eight, bring it here. Here we go, and one. Second time, and two. Bend those knees. Other side and one. All right. And hold it, please. <laughs> Neck up. Good, good, good. Second time and good. Got, guys getting that, that blood pumping. Hold it. That's what I like to see. Very good. Other Don't forget side. to check your heart rate. And hold. Third time. Relax that heart now. You're doing a great job. Sorry, I need to refill my water. One more minute. And hold. And hold. Now do some swaying and nice. Just the arms. Just cool that heart down. Again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now add your knees. And one. Nice and slow. Relax that body. Five, six, seven. Again. And very, one. very good. Two, three, Everyone, give four, yourselves a round of applause. Five, six, seven, eight, take it down. Thank you very much. And one. Excellent work. Excellent work. Welcome back. Thank you very much. Um. So I I own, actually own that VHS cassette. Um. Found it at a, a thrift store. A while back, a while back, but over the break, uh, I was curious about Richard Simmons, uh, what it, what he's been up to recently. I, I I didn't know if he was still alive or not, to be honest with you. But um, if you ever want an interesting read, uh, check out his Wikipedia uh, article. <clears throat> Some kind of weird, mysterious stuff has been happening in the world of Richard Simmons uh, as of recent years. Um, one of his last big public appearances, he's, he's originally from New Orleans, Louisiana, born and raised there. And he did a bunch of, you know, awesome stuff uh, for the Hurricane Katrina relief. Um, but ever since then, he's basically disappeared from public life. And there's been like weird conspiracy theories and like speculation as to what's been going on with him, and none of it has has been like confirmed or you know proven false for that matter. Like there's speculation that he's being sorry about that. Very sorry about that. That was probably very loud. <clears throat> there's speculation that he's been kidnapped by his housekeeper. Um, that he's sick, that he's simply just retired and just wants to be left alone. Um, there's a podcast started called What Happened to Richard Simmons or Where is Richard Simmons? Very, very strange stuff. Very strange. Crap! Yes, indeed. Yeah. Very concerning. So I'm going to have a... <laughs> that might be the last time you see Richard Simmons and the Silver Foxes on... The In Oblivion Intermissions. Who hasn't been kidnapped by Richard Simmons' housekeeper, right? 
yeah. Kind of left a weird taste in my mouth. So, I probably won't play that video anymore. I hope he's okay. I genuinely, genuinely do. Man is a, man is a treasure. He really is. Um, yeah. Yeah, he used to run the circuit of all the, the like, late night, uh, talk shows. And, oh my god. Great mustache. Thank you so much. Same time next week. Oh, good. Very, very kind. Very kind. Thank you for the gifts. Brave underscore mustache gifted a skill. tier one sub to cash four billionaire skeletons. They have given three gift subs in the channel. Enjoy that small, small piece of a billionaire's bones. Thank you very much, Brave Mustache. Very, very kind. Okay. So. Uh, our tree man has been resurrected. Okay, there we go. Tree man cursed for curiosity's sake. And that's interesting because I thought that that was the monk. The monk with the, the quill. But apparently not. I guess it was just the tree. Because the, the, the monk with the quill specifically said curiosity uh, when he got cursed by the 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 quill i don't think the tree guy i mean the tree guy said that he wanted to check out the the airplane crash but he didn't specifically say curious whatever now i'm just splitting semantic hairs um so now dispel one dead but forced to serve we have two new locations now so we just made a save let's go check out the swamp. The swamp. I feel like I should equip a weapon. Ooh, this looks dangerous. Right off the bat, there's a... Here's to be a couple weapons. Apps. Armor, trusty mace. Very spooky music. Very spooky. What we got here? A machete. Is this 60 points? Look, <laughs> look at us. We're ready to go now. Wonder if this is any faster. Everything is just a light little book. Book. All right. Feeling dangerous. And it's one and two, right? Yeah, it's one and two. All right. What is this? A pistol? Oh, shit. Okay. Um... Of course, I'm curious about ammo. No indicator for ammunition. We'll just keep that to the side for now. We'll keep rocking our mace. Our absolutely massive machete. Almost as big as our head. Very good. More junk on the ground. Don't, don't think we'll be flying our plane anytime soon. Got a rope? Always need rope. Always need rope. What is this? Looks a little too big to pick up. Don't want to go in the water. What do we have here? Nothing to take? I'm going to magnify the items. Doesn't look like anything else. Take a little walk around. It does scroll up. Tree, lots of scraps. Something on the ground over here. A couple things. This. A knapsack. Oh, very good. Even more inventory space. Always a great thing. Is there anything in the sack? There is nothing in the sack. Beautiful. That is wonderful. Uh, what is the smallest? The smallest is the culper. Okay. Well, great to know. And what is this? A 
A lighter. Oh, okay. Say goodbye to those matches. Alright, we got a nice little, uh... Nice little collection of items here. Standard adventure game tools to get the job done. Maybe I can't go in the water. No, I don't think I can. Nope. I think this might have been it. Might be it. What about this giant hole? Can we go in this hole? No? <clears throat> Look around a little more up here. Nope. Nothing else on the boundaries, on the edges of the map here. Can I go to the west? No, I cannot. Okay. Well, that was short and sweet. Do I dare go to the fortress? Let's go back to the village. <clears throat> Next on the prophecy, I believe it was to cure the boy of madness. Something like that. Yeah. Or dispel one dead but forced to serve. The youth in madness, he shall willingly heal. We know we need... We need fennel. Uh, leaves of... That one plant that I could not pronounce or did not know how to pronounce. Uh, the lock of hair and the jar with a face on it. So. Let's see if Candlemaker has any candles for us. We could always go back to the bar now too. Since we already went to the swamp. Hey buddy. Have those candles ready? Oh, a uh, silver piece for each candle. Would you like to buy one? Yes, sir. Here's your candle. Uh, if you're ever interested in buying another, please ask. Thank you very much. Uh, what about your son? Anton. We've done this before. Would you mind if I talk to your son? No, right, go right ahead. Friend Natalia's dying. Okay. And that on the floor there is our little brochure basically just tells us to read the game manual if we want to know more about the game Let's look at this candle and we have a lighter we can light the candle if need be Let's go talk to the kid again see if we can't get that Lock of hair. Hey, buddy. No, you're not going to see the plane. The plane's dead. Uh, lock. No. Hair? No. Natalia? They have a good friend that's very sick. Yes. Maybe let me see her. I want to get the madness. You can't catch the madness. We're all doomed. You're not stupid. I'm just glad that Natalia agreed to swap locks of hair with me. Locks. I know it means a lot to you, but can I have the lock of hair Natalia gave to you? Okay, so now this is different because we learned that we need it from Armin, the gypsy. But if I give it to you and Natalia dies, then I won't have anything to remember her by. I'll tell you what, you can borrow it for a while, but I want it back, okay? Thank you. D? Oh, right, yeah. Uh, can't show you the plane. Bye bye Okay. So we got everything. I'm assuming the other plant that I was talking about was... These? The cowberry plant. We have fennel. We just need that dang jar. 
I don't think this counts as the jar, the vial of holy water. It doesn't appear to have a face on it. Um, that is completely empty. We got key of the wine cellar. We got Edward's key. Burned out match. Three coins. Seven coins. Put those weapons back down there. <clears throat> we have a freaking gun. We have the hammer. Okay. We still have the fortress that we could go to. Let's go to the bar. Back to the bar. Oh, and I guess we just gave the uh, the goblet, the cool goblet, uh, to the monk, and it's gone forever now. Oh well. Break the bad news to the bartender. Hello, everyone. The hell you are. <laughs> We're just getting everyone pissed at us. Good reason too, I suppose. <clears throat> Get out of here. I won't speak with you until you give me back my cup. Oh shit. Okay. Uh, how about you, Sophia? I was hoping. Can we take a drink of her now? No. I got things to take care of. Uh, do you want a light? Wait, no, we have a light. Uh, lighter? Can I have a light? No. Okay, that's fine. What say you? Okay. <clears throat> I'm telling you, you won't find a better silversmith than Erasmus. His shop is in the village to the north, is, his shop is in the village to the northeast of here. Okay. Joshua, can you play something new? Something we haven't heard before? Why, of course, Jolju. Something new, eh? I know where his shop is. I've been there. I've been to the village, other village before, to see the magistrate. And I doubt, and I don't doubt Erasmus's skill. All I said is that I'm not sure I can spare the silver pieces to have what I want made. Would you two quit bickering and drink? While you're at it, why don't you give me another ale, Georgie? Oh, no, you don't. It's Claudia's turn. I bought the last round. All right. Very good. Another new location. Ugh. Oh, also when I was reading Richard Simmons's uh, wiki, the first gym that he opened in Hollywood or Beverly Hills, one of the two, uh, was named Slimmons. Very good. Okay. I don't know why. Oh, maybe this guy can uh, make us a cool jar. Just briefly scanning for anything like silverish. Claiming a purse of silver to serve his needs. Hmm. Find and slay the hound that hunts the night. Once appeased, you shall be allowed to pass. Seven souls of a favor to ask. All right. Go check him out. Got a whole another village. Makes great slemonade. Very good. Very good, cash for billionaire. The other village. Ooh. Very nice music. Very nice music. Walking around with our machete. I'm gonna have to start putting the weapons somewhere. Just start throwing all these weapons in the sack here. I'll throw the hammer in there too. Book. Uh, pitchfork. Oh, pitchfork won't fit in there. Makes sense. Thank you, game. We have an action. Oh yeah, we have an action that we can do with the the rope. 
nothing to tie the rope to. Well, the only other thing that we can tie is this. Nope, can't tie the ribbon to the rope. Wishful thinking. Okay. Let's hit up the town. Has to be the silver guy, right? Guessing. Or perhaps an oven salesman. Beautiful shop. Beautiful shop. How you doing? Hello there. What can I do for you today? My name's Erasmus. Do? <laughs> I take it from the sign outside that you're a silversmith? What kind of things do you make? Well, I suppose I can forge just about anything from silver. I can also plate a lot of things, if that is what you would like. Plate. What kind of things can you plate? Just about anything, I guess, but I can't read your mind. You're going to have to tell me what it is you want plated. Forge. Would you be interested in forging me something? Uh, you're going to have to tell me. Okay. Why, just the other day, I had that crazy gravedigger, Kriegor, in here asking me if I could make him a silver weapon. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a werewolf thing, right? Um... Now, making a weapon is no problem, but when I told Kriegor how much silver I would need, he just about fell over dead. Why would Krieger want you, Kriegor want you to make a weapon from silver? Why? Because silver has some unique magical properties, that's why. It's the only metal that those walking dead seem to fear. Oh, so it's for zombies, okay. Uh, I guess Kriegor has seen a number of those foul creatures near the graveyard. Walking? Hmm, I suppose. Uh, hmm, if I supplied everything you need, could you craft a weapon of silver? I sure could, but like I said, it will take a lot of silver. Oh, I would say at least 12 pieces. Pretty steep. Uh, that's enough for a small sword, but it doesn't include my fee, which is another three. Oh dear. Shit, I right clicked. My, uh, I'm sorry. Two. Forge. Weapon. Walking. What do you say? You want me to craft you a small sword from silver? Yeah, three times fast. Well, we don't have enough money. We can plate things. Bye. I never tried this. Okay. I'm gonna say I can't take off my clothes. The manual didn't say anything about armor, but it said stuff about um, accessories, like stat boosting things. I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember if Carmen said the jar had to be silver plated. I feel like it did, unfortunately. But regardless, we still have no jar. I don't think you can just plate anything else. Unless you can just plate one of your already existing weapons. Um, we got the knife and the hammer. Yeah, not sure. Not sure. Oh, we do have two holy waters. That's okay, good. Wait, do I? No. No, I don't. I just have one. Okay. Keep walking around. Much better music in this town. Much more ominous. Hello, hello. What do you got going on here, Granny? Very cool statues. Just busts. Uh, if you came looking for Constantine, he's in the other room. Who is he? Constantine. Is he your son? Excuse me while I spit out these leaves. <laughs> okay, Patui. Yes, Constantine's my son. The only one I've got. Nobody ever comes here to see me. So I figured you're here to see him. I did come to see you. To see you. Leaves? Don't mind me asking, what exactly are you chewing on? Ah, these are the leaves that we need. The cure to madness. 
right? Yeah. Yes, we're getting closer. Sort of tastes like mint, but I like the taste. And it's supposed to cleanse the blood. If you really want to know what, what it's good for, you'll have to ask Annabelle. Mint. Tastes like mint leaves? Do you mind if I try one? Sorry, but I don't have any of the leaves left. They're really hard to find, from what Constantine tells me. He's the one that goes out and picks the stuff. If you want some, you'll have to ask him where he finds it and go get your own. Okay. Can I ask you about... Annabelle? No? I already asked her about Constantine. Okay. See you later. Where's he at? Hello there, sir. You have anything I can pick up? No. Hello, I'm Constantine. As you can see, I'm a collector of sorts. Well, actually, I'm a historian. But I also collect relics of this valley. Right. What kind of history do you study? I devote most of my time to this valley's past. I'm particularly interested in Nikolai, the lord that ruled over this valley before it was engulfed in shadow as his sons. And his sons. Who's Nikolai? Whatever happened to this Lord Nikolai? He was murdered by his son, Harin. At least that's what I believe. The records say it was a thief. You see, there was no proof, and with his father and brothers dead, Karn won dominance of this valley. Thief. Why would a thief want to kill Richard Simmons? It sounds more like an assassination. I agree, but it was written that... On the night of Richard Simmons's death, many valuables were stolen from the Lord's castle. Among those valuables was Nikolai's signet ring. So you see, it was thought that the thief attempted to steal the ring while Nikolai slept. When the Lord awoke, he must have struggled with the thief. He was stabbed in the back of a dagger. No one was there to help Nikolai's cry no one was there to hear Nikolai's cries for help. So he bled to death in the passing of an hour. This is all very specific information, sir. I must say, there must be some interesting stuff here. Is there anything you'd like to sell? Ah, fellow collector. My apologies, but most of the relics here are very valuable to me. Though I do have one piece, a talisman of sorts. I would part with for two silver coins. I haven't a clue what it may be, may be good for. You might want to brave a trip to that old witch at the crossroads. She might tell you. Uh, that's if she doesn't eat you first. Oh, dear. You want to buy the talisman? <laughs> Not really making a convincing argument for this talisman here. Uh, I'm sure it must be helpful. Stat to increase, perhaps. Tell me about the sons. How many sons did Nikolai have? There were seven. Oh dear. They're all underlined. Alexander, Theodore, Nathan, Michael, Karin, Christian, and the youngest, Eta. Oh boy. Big old, this is the lore lord we're talking to here. <clears throat> is this the only game that features Simmons? Yes. We're, we're playing it here tonight for the first time. Twitch exclusive. Uh, what do you know about Alexander? He was a warrior. Oh, I'm getting some prophecy recall here. Something about the Seven Souls. He was a warrior. One of the finest swordsmen uh, ever from what I've read. He eventually met his match, though. He dueled with a stranger never before seen in the valley. Alexander was killed and then beheaded with his own rapier. After the duel, the strange swordsman took Alexander's head up to the bar and deposited it there as if it were a bag of coins. And that is how the tavern got its name, the Severed Head. Instead of fleeing, this man waited for the Lord's guard to seize him and hang him. He never resisted, only laughed as he was dragged to the gallows and hung. Nice. This Fyodor, what kind of son was he? Oh, he was vain, terribly vain. He abused his father's position and spent his coins on booze and wenching. <laughs> Never heard wenching before. It's a good word. Why, once his father was away, 
Fyodor had a coin minted with his own image upon it. Nikolai was furious when he returned from his travels. He had many of the coins found and destroyed, but I think to, that to this day some of the coins still exist. Hmm, perhaps it's the face that we need for the jar. In the end, Fyodor must have angered some unknown person because he was found in a dark alley with his skull split open. I don't think there were many that grieved the death of Fyodor. Hmm. Nathan. You know much about Nathan? Nathan loved to hunt, so he spent a lot of time in a small cottage he had built in the dark forest. He died in a hunting accident. I believe it was thought that a bear or wolf got to him. Of course, there wasn't much of his body left, so it was hard to tell. Right? Simple there. What is known about Michael? Michael is the weakest of the brothers, so he dedicated his life to scholarly duties. Unfortunately, before he grew into full manhood, he died of some disease. Hmm. Karn, what can you tell me about him? I prefer not to discuss that evil one. Suffice to say, he is the thing that brought all this evil to the valley. He rules completely. No one can oppose him. The people of this valley are, uh, are his sustenance, which he feeds upon. What did you learn about Christian? A fine minstrel from all that I've read. Oh, shit. Uh, like all of his brothers, he too died a strange and mysterious death. Hmm, interesting. Peter, the youngest son. Did he die as well? Although his body was never found, it was believed that he drowned. The pony he had, riding, he, he had been riding was found washed ashore. I would imagine that his body probably sunk to the bottom of Blackwater's murky depths. Blackwater. What's this Blackwater you mentioned? It sounds like a lake, but I don't recall seeing any water in the valley. We were just at a swamp, buddy. You're right, it is a lake. And a large one at that. It lies in the very center of this valley. Not very many people go there. Uh, it's supposed to be inhabited by will o wisps Creatures that feed on humans' life force. From what I remember, legends say that there's an island in the center of the lake. Of course, nobody had crossed, uh, nobody has crossed that body of water since the old ferryman drowned. That was all well over a hundred years ago. Okay. Whew. Probably gonna have to go back and take some notes on that one. This um, prophecy is. Anything. Seven lost souls have favors to ask. So I'm guessing we gotta track all these dudes down and uh, give them a holler. Youth and madness. Once appeased, he shall be allowed to pass. He'll find and slay the hound. Purse of silver to serve his needs. So, so I'm guessing there's some treasure. Big ball and treasure so that we can afford all of this, uh, this cool stuff. Hidden place you must pry from one quite mad. We have a pry bar. Uh, speak to evil incarnate, the Dark Lord's bane. Turn aside the vampire's charms. Stand strong against claw and fang. Make his own most holy attack. True name must be spoken for evil's power to wane. Okay. Alright. Alright, we're getting there. Game's really starting to open up. Good. Very good. Getting much more completeness to the map. We've got the crossroads. We've got the big old lake now. Good, good, good. Looks like we got space for good one or two or three other locations perhaps very good thank you very much oh hey 
Totally forgot. The entire reason we started talking to you in the first place. Do you have any mint? No. The hell did she call them? Thanks. Well, she said he just goes out somewhere. Did she say he goes to the crossroads? Pick these things? Um, can I talk to you about your leaves again? What are you chewing? Uh, you gotta ask Annabelle. Mint. Let me try one. Goes out and picks them. Where to find it? Your own. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll have to ask Annabelle. I tried mint and leaves on Constantine. Right? No? Okay. See what's in the other room. Is there a bed? Oh, a hallway. Beautiful bedroom. What is that? They have like little watermelon wallpaper? Those like little radishes. Beautiful. Very quaint. Very chic. And lovely guest bedroom. <clears throat> or maybe they have separate bedrooms. I don't know if they're married or not. I just made an assumption. Maybe they're brother and sister. Okay. Lovely time at... Constantine and old lady's house that I forgot the name of. Now this looks ominous. The butler? I suppose you're here to speak with the magistrate. You will find him in the next room, sir. And please, sir, do not keep him long. Alexage Alexi? Uh, realizes his duty. No, that's an I. Alexi. Alexi realizes his duty as Karin's magistrate. But he hates to be bored by little, unimportant things. Unimportant things like... Mint? <laughs> okay. Um, magistrate. Alexei. Alexei? Alexei? Oh. Uh, bye. Going on. I feel like I'm walking into a trap here. Halt. There he is. Oh, he's got a cool ass cape and a cane and everything. Great. Another villager. What can I do for you? And please be quick. But I don't like those who waste my Waste? I didn't come to waste your time. I'm Ian, the one who crashed the other day. But you're the one. In that case, I'm glad you came. I'm the magistrate of this valley. It is Karn, the Dark Lord himself, who has given me the power to govern this domain of his. Okay? I will tell you what I tell all the outsiders. Obey my laws. If you don't, you'll find yourself hanging right beside that murderer, Ambrose. Who is this murderer? Not you, too. I've had more unrest after the hanging of Ambrose then I should put up with. As far as I'm concerned, Ambrose is the one that killed Edward. Okay. If you beg to differ, I'll tell you what I told the others. Find me proof that it was another's hand that took Edward's life, and I'll hang him too. Okay. That'll solve problems. Proof? You mean you might have hung an innocent man? Are you sure are you sure it was him? I mean as far as I'm concerned, it was Ambrose who spilled Edward's blood. Even if it wasn't, I had to hang someone. Typical. You can bring me three pieces of evidence that it was someone else. I'll hang the true murderer. If you have any evidence on you that may make me believe that it was someone else who murdered Edward. Well, we got a bloody ass hammer. I found this piece. Oh yeah, and we have the shirt. 
I found this piece of torn shirt in Edward's house. It was probably torn from the shirt of Edward's murderer. That piece of cloth could be from anyone's shirt. You'll have to do better than that. You'll need to find out who owns the shirt that it was torn from. Hmm, fair enough. <laughs> for a guy that just wants to murder somebody, hang somebody for the hell of it. Sure cares a lot more about justice now. It appears that you do not have any evidence for him. Okay. So the hammer is just nothing then. Laws. And what exactly are these laws that I must obey? Oh, sorry. A little readjustment there. I adjust my boys. Let it suffice to say that anything that doesn't please me or my master is considered breaking the law. In the meantime, you might want to take take it upon yourself to do me some good. Being an outsider, I'm sure you need some uh you've need of some money. Well, there just happens oh, okay. There just happens to be a way you can earn yourself a nice purse of silver. Let me guess. Purse of silver, eh? Come to think of it, I could use the coins. What do I have to do? There's one in the valley who is a werewolf, a lycanthrope. Arn usually lets him let such creatures live, for it pleases him. But this werebeast has become more most troublesome. Slay it, and the bounty is yours. Slay Kill a werewolf? I don't have the slightest idea how to kill a werewolf. Let alone find out who it is. Legends say that you, if you confront such a beast in human form and brand that person a werewolf, thus revealing its secret, that it will change into the wolf. Confront it in human form and brand that person as a werewolf. The werebeast must then kill all, must then kill all who know its true identity before it can once again take on its human form. So you see, finding out who the werewolf is is only part of the problem. You must also kill the beast, and I tell you this. No normal weapon can kill such a thing. Bye. Oh. Um, if there's anything else that we really need to ask him about. Okay, okay. Fair enough. Good talk, Magistrate. What else you got in here? Nice little evil room. Nice little Satan room. Very good. Thank you, Butler. You again. Okay. So uh, we got to be able to talk to this guy about something. Oh, sh <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, God. I haven't saved it in forever. I hope this doesn't fuck us up. I think you're the werewolf. I hate to upset you, sir. <laughs> I may be many things, but one of them isn't a werewolf. Bye. Oh, dear. I just wanted to ask him about werewolves. So now, if you just type werewolf at somebody, you're... I guess you'll accuse them of something. Uh, werewolf. Hmm. Very good. Okay. Well, let's keep making the rounds here. Lovely little fountain. Very pretty fountain. Nice house. Oh, they have uh, some stuff here. Got a little shovel. There, wolf. Yes. I have a parsley branch. Parsley is always good. Start putting some stuff in the sacks again here. Yeah. And a shovel. Is this a weapon? This is not a weapon. This is for digging. Oh, and we have a dig action that we can do. You can't dig here. Okay. 
I'll just rock the shovel for a little bit. Check out this little hut. Hello. I don't know who you are, but we don't like strangers bothering us here. Everyone knows Christiana can't speak, and there's nothing I can do for you. It would be best if you leave. Bothering? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bother you. My name's Ian. I'm the outsider that crashed here not long, not too long ago. So you're the one I heard about. I'd be careful if I were you. Outsiders don't tend to live long around here. It's a shame Christiana is in that trance of hers. She was always interested in stories of the outside world. Christiana is very pretty. Is she your daughter? Jesus Christ, Ian. Come on. No, she's not, but I've been like I've been like a mother to her. Nobody else is willing to take care of the girl, so I do. What happened to her must have been terrible. She doesn't deserve this, you know. You know what happened to her? Have you tried finding a way to get her to snap out of the trance? I don't know the whole story. Actually, I don't know much of the story at all. Only Christiana knows the whole truth. She's been in this trance since shortly after the death of her betrothed, Krill's son. For the life of me, I can't recall his name. I've tried everything I can think of to get her to snap out of this trance, but nothing's worked. I've spoken names of people and places, anything to jog her memory. If you can do better, go ahead and try. It is a text parser, after all. Does she have... The Madness. Hello. The girl just stares blankly at you. Hmm. I'm sure our prophecy. I'm sure she's in the prophecy here, right? No. Maybe not. Hmm. Who'd she say her husband was? Sorry. Allow me to indulge my goldfish brain memory tomorrow quick. Kirill's son. Okay. Very interesting. Definitely got stuff to talk to uh, Kirill about now. Kirill. Just stares blankly. Will? Wine. No, I got nothing. We'll come back to her. But first, we'll check out their stuff. As a good RPG protagonist should do. Alright. Let's head out. Do we have Trance Girl? We got Constantine the Lore Lord. We got the Magistrate. Did I go in here? I don't think I went in here. Oh no, that's Constantine, okay. Not go down here. The shovel hut. A nice skull fence. Hello? Oh, this guy posted up. Ooh, he looks mean. Uh, oh, this guy's definitely a werewolf. He's got the gray shirt and everything. Oh, maybe it's uh, maybe it's a red herring, and maybe the trance girl is the werewolf. Um, <clears throat> you don't have someone you want me to bury, do you? It's been a while. Oh. <laughs> what a question to ask somebody you just met. It's been a while, and I'm just dying for the chance to dig a grave. Who knows? Maybe I'll get the chance to dig yours. I think I got your shovel, buddy. Bury. Even if I had someone to bury, why would I have you do it? Because it's my job. I'm Krigor, the caretaker. 
That rhymes. That means I dig graves, and I must say, I like it. Some abhor the thought of digging graves. You know, working with the dead. I, on the other hand, seen it in a different see it in a different light. I'm laying people to rest, and rest in this forsaken place means peace. At least for some people, that is. While I'm surprised you're not a busy man of all his death to be found in this valley. You just have to rub it in, don't you? There may be a lot of death in this valley, but very little of it is true death. There are too many people eaten by wolves or zombies, turned into vampires, or just plain missing, never to be found. If someone, if something doesn't happen soon, I might forget my way to the graveyard. I mean, if this keeps up, I might have to take things into my own hands. You know, go out and create work for myself. What do you think? Uh, you shouldn't be talking about that, buddy. I think you really lost it. You're crazy. If you tell me where the cemetery is, I'll be on my way. Not too far from this village. While you're there, take a moment and admire some of my work. I think you'll like it. Dig. I hate to disappoint you, but I don't think you'll be getting the chance to dig my grave. That's what they all say, my friend. That's what they all say. Remember when you find yourself... Remember that when you find yourself overcome with the madness or clenched in the jaws of a wolf. You may be eaten, and I might not get to bury your body, but at least I'll get to add your name to the Book of Souls. That sounds very important. What is this Book of Souls? Come now, do you think that all, you think that all I do is dig graves, do you? Book of Souls. It's a book containing all the names of the dead and how they died. Can I see this book of souls? I might need a name from its pages. I don't have to show you anything. And I'm definitely not going to let you rummage through the book of souls. Bye. Okay. I'm guessing we need the book to get a name to speak to Trance Girl. Here to awaken. What is this? Empty bottle of fine wine. Could this be the jar that we use to make the potion? Find out. Still got pretty good inventory space. I'm starting to get very curious about uh, what the death thing is. Book of Soul, co-authored by James Brown. That's right. Get down. Good lord. Messy ass bed. Yeah, very good. Thank you for the I Omega I. Horn shirt. Oh, you are guilty, buddy. G U guilty. All right. What else you got here? What is this? Strength potion. Ah, very good, very good. Yeah, I know we have it on simplified combat, and it still feels, I don't know, I mean, if the prophecy is an indicator, still got a pretty good chunk of game left to do, but at least it does feel like it's opening up. So I don't want to get cocky with the combat, but might just have to let ourselves die one of these times just to see if there's any cool animation. Um, let's see here. Okay, a little bit overwhelmed. What else do we have? Got another new location, right? Crossroads, the cemetery. We have the lakeshore, the crossroads. And the magistrate wanted three pieces of evidence to accuse this guy. Right? But that's separate from the werewolf. They're two separate quests. Let's just see if we can drop off the, uh, the fabric and the shirt for the magistrate here. 
Evidence. Found this piece of torn shirt. What do you think? Interesting. I'll have Bayard check on this. We'll see if what you say is true. Guessing that's your butler. I found this empty wine bottle in Krigor Krigor's house, along with others just like it. You'll find the same bottles in Edward's house. Did we know that? Wait, was Edward... Edward is Kirill's son, right? Was that his son? God damn, I'm sorry. If that was completely obvious and like... Talked about a million times, it probably was. Interesting. I'll have Bayard check on this. We'll see if it's true. Well, Kriegath does have parsley growing in his garden. So what? You're gonna have to do better than that. What does parsley have to do with anything? Uh, not sure. Hmm. More evidence in your theory might stand up in my court, Ian. Okay. Was the parsley a red herring? No clue. Huh. Interesting. Did he take the shirt? Yeah, he took the shirt. He took the shirt. That's good. Parsley. Why would he want parsley? Parsley branch. Maybe it's just something we can sell to the herb lady. Getting all kinds of greenery going on here. The leafery. Okay. Move on. It's getting a little bit late for me. I'm gonna wrap up pretty soon. But I'd like to at least get a, a little bit of a foothold as to what to do next. Or at least discover take a take a peek at the next area or two. Throw down a savey save as Zophar says. And let's head out. Go to this graveyard. This smells like certain death. We do not have... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay. We got skellies. Does this pause the game? No, it sure doesn't. Okay, shoot. Give me... Mace. And the machete. Oh man, I'm getting beat up. What? Oh, I'm reading graves. Okay. Go. I'm not doing jack to these skellies. Oh, my legs are becoming bone. No effect on the skeleton. Missed. Missed. Hit him. That was a hit, wasn't it? Okay, I got one of them. The mace works on the skellies. Good hit. Good hit. Great music. Okay. Bones them. <laughs> Look at our poor... Oh, man. That's gotta be... Yeah, that's definitely one of the best uh, life bars, HP bars. I've seen the game. Love it. Okay, so we have a million grades here. Like we can read most of them. Wonderful battle. Here rests my dearest husband, Lucian. Come to the madness in the spring of 1925. Free for his loss. But uh, now know that he is free. R.E.P. is beloved Catherine. Christina was the trance girl, correct? I believe. Uh, Jan Yinker. Yakir. 
died from unknown illness. Died a poor woman, not but a stale crust of bread within her torn pockets. Loved by all. Realized a man went to the grave seeking forgiveness. CLS. Gave away nine five. He gave away nine five black and four white, but kept one for himself. An act of greed from which he has learned. Put to the spear in the summer of 1690. Can't read the little stone guys. Little square guys. Christian struck, stoned to death in the winter of 1792 by a mob of angry villagers led by Franz S. Tis my fault, but I have forgotten. JG RIP. His threats fell upon deaf ears. In turn, it was he who found himself buried, victim of his own ignorance, found dead upon a mountain summit in the fall of 1648. Vladimir, Vampirus Nosferatus, put to the stake and beheaded. This is a man that fate treated unkindly. Will his tortured spirit ever find the light? Let us hope. Interesting. J.H.N., thief and brigand who was hung for stealing the sacred tome. He should not have taken that which was not his. Some believe he died innocent. Beneath this marker of cold wind, beaten wind, okay, yeah, I'm getting tired. Beneath this marker of cold wind, beaten stone lies a friend, J E A. He chose one path, I chose another, but remember him, I shall. I wish him well, may no peace. I'm wondering if some of these are like developers. Possible. Oh, very ominous, ominous looking dungeon there. Franz S. Uh, world should no longer bear witness to his artistic skill of the brush. That's a great combo there, Draconic Dude. What is that little monster? Oh, it's from DC Bueller. Oh, it's a beholder, of course. That's a badass looking beholder. Did somebody draw that for him, or did he draw that? Or is that like a, an official art, I wonder? Very good, regardless. Overcome with madness in the winter of 1792. Died by his own hand. Realize Penlut. Alias FB. Thrown from his mountain, slain by wolves. Rest in peace. Okay. Well, we have a shovel. I suppose we can just start digging away. But I don't know why we would want to dig yet. Uh, I'm going to throw down one more save. We'll save over werewolf, why not? Since as, as far as I know, we get free heals anyway. Holy moly! Oh boy. Can I talk? Oh, I can talk to him. You cannot pass. No creator tag, just says DC Bueller. Yeah. No one may pass. Uh, <laughs> what in the world are you? I wish to enter the mausoleum. Why won't you let me pass? I am despair. I am evil. The ultimate evil. I am the master's servant. I am lost to salvation. So shall you be. None shall pass while my soul torments. My salvation is the key. I fear I am lost to salvation. The master's grip upon my soul is complete. Master. Who is this master you're talking about? You must let me pass. No. <laughs> he who drinks the blood, the slayer of men, consumer of souls, Karn allows no one to pass. Well, all right then. Anything more to say? No? What if I say Karn? No? What about uh, Drink?
Well, he's a nice guy. I was worried that he was like some type of boss that we had to fight. Very spooky looking. Very cool looking sprite though. He looks great. Oh, the flag says Channel Zofar and uh, Artist Crisis Seal. Better Twitch TV extension. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do have that enabled. And I, I can see that, yeah. Yeah, that's really cool. I do like that they have that feature. It reminds me of the ID3 tags from uh, MP3s. Very handy. Okay. So there's the graveyard. Check out these. The werewolf must be at the crossroads, right? This is probably where that werewolf is at. Oh dear. Oh man. It's... Oh, they're alive. Oh, gruesome. Don't be frightened. <laughs> Even if I wanted to, I couldn't hurt you. As you can see, my body is quite dead. I've been hanging here for over a week now. That's okay. I'm not frightened. Just a little surprised. I didn't expect. You didn't expect to find a hanging man that talks, huh? Well, neither would I. Not even this cursed valley. I not only wouldn't speak to a stranger, but I wanted to warn you about the old crone in the hut. Yes, please do. Why would you want to warn me? Because I know what it's like to die an untimely death. I wouldn't want to see the same happen to you, even if you are a stranger. Kind of looks like me. Is this like future dead Ian? If you're not careful, you might end up here in her iron pot. Or worse, parts of you may stuffed into some jar. I would like a jar. Only to be later used in preparation for some dark spell of hers. Which is completely overcome with insanity. There's no telling what she might do. You say the old crone is mad? Why? We talked, her and I. And I must say that we learned to despise each other. Hmm. I've been in relationships like that. She wants something I can find. A key to the ancient library beneath the monastery. But I won't give it to her. Never. Over the years, she has killed all the monks save one, and like her, he is now mad. I met that guy. Key. This key you're talking about. Would you give it to me? Yes. I will give you the key. But before I do, you must redeem my soul. I want to be free of this rotten corpse. Redeems. Redeem your channel points now. What has to be done to free your soul? The true murderer has to be found and hanged like me. Hanging. How's it hanging? What'd you do anyway? It must have been pretty bad if you were hanged for it. That's just it. I didn't do anything. Oh, is this the guy the magistrate killed? No. Uh, that's why my spirit is trapped within this lifeless carcass. Oh, yeah. I did. Okay, yeah. Magistrate hung, hung me for the murder of Edward. I didn't do it. That didn't matter. The magistrate had to hang somebody as an example, and he chose me. Okay, so we saw, we, we find our evidence, the real murderer, and we can get the key from this guy. You mean to tell me the magistrate hung you simply to set an example? Yes, Ian. We had an entire conversation just now about it. The magistrate has made a pact with the Dark Lord. He rules this valley in Karn's name and, wish and commits whatever act the Dark Lord wishes. The magistrate not only took my life, but condemned me to this hellish existence. And so shall I suffer until someone redeems my soul. Monks, I know those guys. How can you be sure it was the old crone that killed the monks? Unless someone frees my soul, I am doomed to exist between the worlds. The spirits of the slain monks come every now and then. They speak to me. They scorn the witch as much as I. And now we have what she seeks. The key. There's a book in the library that she wants. A book of dispelling ghosts called Etheric Rites. Uh, she thought that the monks knew where the key was hidden. but she... Perhaps that book will allow us to pass the, the red boy by the mausoleum. 
When the hag finally accepted the monks' ignorance, only one remained alive, and he's mad, driven insane by the brutal deaths of his fellow brothers. We know him. Okay, true murder found. On it. We shall get there. Hang tough, buddy. Wonder if there's anything we can do at these crossroads. Oh, oh, that's the hut. Crone themselves, herself. This nice little gruel pit here. Nothing to take. Do I dare enter the old crone's hut? Try it. Oh, hey. Okay, nice little cauldron and everything. How's it going? Oh, that's a good looking hag there. I see that there is a brave, someone brave enough to enter the hut of the dreaded witch Monica. Come in, come in and talk. Why, other than that hooligan Ambrose, I haven't had anyone to talk to for a long time. Ambrose. We did hear the, I feel like we did hear the name Ambrose somewhere else. That's him. Oh, right, because the magistrate, I think the magistrate told us. That's him. He has something I've sought for years, and he won't give it to me. But I will continue to torment him as long as his soul remains trapped in that corpse of his. Oh, what is this thing? Could it be a key? There's a key. A book that holds the secret to dispelling the ghost of my poor grandfather, the etheric rites. Is he a ghost or something? Not only a ghost, the one that has been but one that has been unrighteously damned, and I mean to free him. When I was young, my grandfather Vladimir fell victim to a vampire. He himself became such a creature. The villagers hunted him down, drove a wooden stake through his heart, and beheaded him. He was then buried with an iron spike driven through his skull. This was done to prevent him from coming back as something else. I was heartbroken. I loved my grandfather very much. Soon after his burial, the villagers discovered that the spirit of my grandfather had been summoned back and forced to serve as a guardian to the mausoleum. Yep, that's him. This book, what did you call it? Etheric Rites? Are you sure that you need the key to get it? Maybe there's another way. It lies in the ancient library beneath the monastery. The book is in there. Uh, it's been sealed for over a century. At first, I thought the book was hidden on the island of the Black Water, but I was mistaken. I even I had even found a way to raise the dead ferryman from the lake's murky depths. Hmm. Let me get this straight. You were going to raise some dead guy from the water? The only way I could think of to get to the island. Only the dead ferryman knows the safe passage through the jagged rocks that lurk beneath the lake's surface. All I needed was an ivory horn. There's a spell and runes that need to be carved into the horn. Okay, the gypsy wood guy. After this is done, oh shh. I fat fingered the, the right mouse button again. Well, regardless, I think that's a, uh, a good place to stop. My uh, My voice is starting to give out a little bit. There's a lot more reading in this than I expected. Um... But it's fun. I think the best parts of the dialogue are just the the complete uh, just doofusness of uh, the main character's uh, interactions. Um, say doofus. I think I just made two exact identical saves, but whatever. Yeah, had a great day today. Big day. Some great news. Hopefully, I'll get some more good news tomorrow. A great job interview. Um, but yeah, I want to thank everyone else. Uh, everyone for stopping by and uh, hanging out and saying hi. Really means a lot. Um, yeah. Been getting nothing but love here on, on Twitch. And it is my duty to you to... You, viewers at home, to return the favor tenfold. 
keep the uh, keep the pain it forward motion going. Okay, I can't talk anymore. Uh, let's play the funky tunes once more. I'm gonna fire up the browser and we'll find a lovely person to raid. Thank you again uh, to Babylon Zool for his raid. And thank you again to uh, Brave Mustache uh, for all the generosity. Thank you so very much. Okay. Got a whole handful of people on tonight. Pretty cool. Rat Clown Car, I raided him previously. Grace Note is a very cool person. He's playing Gunbrella. Exit the Gunbrella. Is that any type of relation to Enter the Gungeon? Thank you, Boot Blocking. Thank you very much. Uh, we've already raided Rush Pirate recently. Nukem99999 is playing StarCraft, the Zerg campaign. Looks like they're near the end. Vote for Waifus is playing Metroid Prime. Toesia is playing Ocarina of Time. Big D. Has anyone been uh, channel surfing and checked out Big D? I feel like he's been on for a little bit. I think I saw him go online just before I did. I don't want to raid someone if they're uh, wrapping up already. Junkyard Dave is playing Co-op Chippendale. He'll be going for a bit still, I think. Oh, right on. Have I? I can't remember. I think I did. I have rated Big D before. Dr. CDCS is playing Elix. Oh, he's raiding now? Okay. No, you're good. Thank you. I appreciate you checking. Thank you, Nekki. Uh, Duke Donuts is playing Starfield. The hot new... It game. Moo Hoodles is on. She's great. If y'all want to learn something, uh, she I can't remember what her actual like profession or education is, but she always talks about space, astrobiology, really cool stuff. Um, let's go say hi to Toegia. I have not rated her yet. And she is really cool. I've uh, bumped shoulders with her in more than a few uh, chats. And she's a really cool person. I believe she's Canadian, which would explain the coolness. And eh, she's been playing for about four hours, but that's all right. Thank you, Brave Mustache. How do I spell her name again? Ow. Aw. We. Yeah. Invalid username. There it is. Okay. Sorry it took so long. Thank you again so much for all your patience and kindness. Um, much, much love. Please say hi to Toegia for me. Uh, Boot Blacking. She would definitely be a good person to ask about uh, gravy and poutine and french fries. I wonder how much of this that of that is just a Canadian stereotype or if that is like a common staple of their cuisine. Uh, regardless, thank you everyone once again. Um, there's a decent chance I'll be back tomorrow, but I'm not sure. I made a very lazy uh, memo section in my about section on the Twitch page here. And I'll try to keep that updated. Poutine everywhere, yes. 
Uh, but yeah, you can keep an eye on that. And yeah, and again, at 100 followers, I'll start uh, watch parties of a soap opera uh, from episode one. So look out for that as well. And thank you again, everyone. Have a great time zone, and uh, I'll see you next time. See you later.